Bazinga. Oh, Sydney Sprint, my beloved. My beauty. My absolute beauty. Can we just get rid of the track and keep the music? Is there something we're allowed to do? I hope we can. Not gonna lie. Okay, the track is like hella mid. The music though. Music's bumping. Music is bumping. Big fan. How are we all doing, gamers? A pleasure as always. Makoto with the coldest take. We're starting off the stream with a cold take. Track is boring, music carries. In other words, water is wet. Gravity is a lie. The earth is flat. <laughs> I love spreading misinformation. Yes. Doing all right, flat earther. Hell yeah! But where are my fellow flat, flat earthers at? <laughs> I mean, Australia's still upside down. They got like all of them wear like moon shoes on their flip flops, so they can like lash onto the earth from underneath. You know, that's how that works. Source? I just made it up. <laughs> I just made it the fuck up. Cause I'm just, I'm just that kind of guy, you know? What if they made the entire Sydney upside down? Well, technically you are playing upside down, but they realized, you know, like Mario, like I think Shigeru Miyamoto at the last minute was like, listen, mate, can't have a whole track being upside down. That's a bit, it's a bit much, you know, it's a bit much. We don't like, cause people aren't gonna play as the track is intended. People are just gonna turn their like screens upside. You know, people just turn their switches upside down and play it like that instead. And it's like, that kind of defeats the whole purpose of being immersed in Sydney, you know? If people played it the right way around, you know, it's like, do you know what it is, right? It's like those people that play with smart steering on 200cc Neo Bowser C. I'm like, I, I know what you're doing. I know what you're doing, all right? You're being cheek. That's, you're not playing as the track is intended. You're being a bit cheeky with that. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. How are we doing, gamers? 
A pleasure, a pleasure as always. Wow, tier list Tony, back at it again. With yet another tier list reaction. Oh my god. My make content. When you can just react to others making it. <laughs> it's a foolproof plan! <laughs> it's been working with Sniper Wolf all these years, huh? Hello, hello, how are we doing? Horatio, Lord Serenexel, Dylan, Saul, Mbubu, MMX3, Trek, Connor, The Roof. How you doing, guys? Makoto, Battenberg, we. Luke uh, Boa, Tiago. Travis, a pleasure as always. Mr. Daisy Stan, back at it again. Raul, what's up? Super Mario, Jack, Jack, Jack Squared. Is it Jack Squared? Can I call you that instead? <laughs> Playing Fortnite? I mean. Not, not, not here, not right now, if that's what you mean. Have I been playing it? Not particularly. I didn't, after the OG season went, I just kind of, I kind of just stopped playing Fortnite, if I'm being honest. It's still fun, but like, I, I just come in every now and again, play a couple rounds, beat some bots, and I usually just like uninstall it until the next season comes out. That's usually how I go. Pia Griffin was a fun addition, but tier 70? Tier 70? In a relatively busy December for me? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. The offer still stands if someone wants to go on my account and get me to level 70. I'll happily, because I do want that Peter Griffin skin, but I'm not paying like, it's like, how, how much money do you get like for Battle Stars? It's a ridiculous, ridiculous price, honestly. <laughs> It'd be like, what, 150 quid to get to like tier 70 just to buy the tiers? It would be, I'm, I'm okay, thank you. I'm all right, I'm all right. You're in the road is overweight. Is it just hot take central in here? Nimbo Road is overrated, Ima. Uh, I, I think you're just trying to be different, if I'm being honest. I'm going to be honest with you. There's like some takes where I'm like, you know what, that's hot, and I can see why you think that. There are some takes where I'm just like, you're just being, you're just being different. Like, I get it. Listen, it's fun. It's fun being different. It really is fun, but you gotta, you got to say it with your soul, you know? It's like when I say I hate Rosalie and his eye spot. There were some people that were angry with me in my tier list, uh, Wave 6 tier list reaction, right? But I mean that with my heart. When I say I hate that track, I hate that track, you know? And I explained why. I explained it very coherently, and yet didn't stop some people. But yeah, them's the breaks. That's how it is. People saw the thumbnail and decided to leave a comment. You know, I'm like, hey, you know, them's the breaks. Here's how it is. Here's how it is. We play the leg update. I have no idea what the leg update is. If I'm being honest, I'll look into that later. It's like 13k for 100 tiers. Well, 13k like V bucks. That's what at least 100 quid. Yeah, I'm alright. Thank you. <laughs> like more than 100 pound. I'm alright. Let's get the weekend skin. I did get the what's it? Uh, I want to get the. But I, want, I just want to. The more I think about Fortnite, the more I want that Peter Griffin skin. I can't be dealing with that. Right? I can't be dealing with that. I got Toad Factory denying. They're just trying to be different. They're just trying to be different, guys. Come on now. They're just trying to be different. You, you guys gotta like get better at like figuring out what's a real take and what's someone being different. You know, someone saying that they like Stadium over Pinball. You know, as Raul just said. Uh, that's fine. I can see why you'd think that. That's a, it's, it's hot, but I can see it, you know? You're cooking something. If you say you hate, like, Wee Rainbow Road, you're not, you're not cooking. You're not even in the kitchen, bro. Like, you know? You're not in the kitchen. Come on. That's ridiculous. But you know who is in the kitchen, though, gamers? I've got two tier lists that I found. We have got... Uh, back at it again. Back at it again. We've got your boy... Weed is confirmed. And also, I found uh, this guy. I have no idea who this guy is. I have no idea. Oh, no audio on that part? Hang on. My bad. Ooh, here we go. I'm back. Uh, but yeah, I have two tier lists. One with the, one with the uh, weed man. Smoke weed, every day. weed man. And I have one. Uh, I don't know who this gentleman is, but he uploaded his Wave 6 tier list around the same time I did. So I'm like, ooh, I want to see what his takes were. That could be fun. So I've got two. I've got two videos for you guys. Are we excited? Have, have any of you guys heard of was Silent Hawk? Is that you say his name? I want to see what he's all about. You know? You like him? Do we like him? Do we hate him? What's what's the take on Silent Hawk? Oh, is it, we're already very divisive. JD's like, I love him. Uh, Jimmy Think Tunes like, I hate him. <laughs> so. Sherlock has a lot of uh, has a lot of waffle. Is that waffle? Does he waffle on? Is he ever waffling, Andy? But well, his video is only twenty minutes long, so if anything, he probably didn't waffle enough. I usually like a I usually like a, a medium amount of waffle, you know, a medium amount. 
He got rattled by his comments. Um, I am looking at the timeline thing. Hang on, let me see. And uh, there is a there is a chapter called Reddit moment. So I'm guessing for the first five five minutes of a 15 minute video, he's probably just like raging about the comments, which are, is more time than I would dedicate. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> So I think one thing that you have to understand, maybe maybe it gets worse as you get like grow in size, but there's always going to be people that leave shitty comments. I think you just got like for me the my the rule I go by is you can disagree with me if you are being respectful about it because I, you wouldn't. You, and if you disagree with someone in real life, you wouldn't just like call them a fucking idiot right to their face. You wouldn't do that. It's just you wouldn't do that unless they're your friend, obviously, unless you have that banter. But if if you're going to leave a comment saying, "Hey, I, I think you're wrong," then that's fine. Just tell me why you think I'm wrong. It's interesting. I like it. Because there's so many, if you look at the comments on my Wave 6 one, there's so many people who said they, they think this is the best wave. I hor horribly dis- I hardly dis- uh, Significantly disagree. Is that the word? No, I'm mixing up my words. But I uh, wholeheartedly disagree. That's the word I'm looking for. I wholeheartedly disagree. But you can have that take, sure. I still think it's Wave 4, baby. I left that, what's it? The community poll? I actually haven't seen the results of that for a while. Let's check in on that. Before we get started, let's have a look at that, uh, what's it, that community poll I did. Ooh, let's have a look. Where is it? Boom. Uh, I think, yeah, I think we're by quite a comfortable margin. It was, in fact, wave four. By a comfortable margin, yeah? Oh, Blue Lake. Oh, no, no. I'll just turn it down on my end. I get too into the music. That's that's that's, that's what happens to me. Um, let me just, should we see some of these? Wave six, my beloved. Is it, is it four or six? Which ones do we have? If you, if you had to like pick from the two, which one would it be, guys? Are we four or are we six? I'm definitely four. Hello. Hello, Silicious, you beauty. No, because bro had a whole subreddit come for his neck and esophagus. I mean, fair enough, I suppose, but if... If that will... If a whole subreddit came at me because of my takes, I couldn't really see my, myself being too angry. If I'm being honest, like, if if there was, hey, Musty, I think your Rosalina ice wall take is bad. And as a result, I have now sent a cruise missile to your house. Like, whoa, hey, hey, whoa, I just sent the track sucks. Hey, whoa, come relax. But if I just have one saying, you suck, Musty, you're bad. I'm like, hey, bro, let me hear it, man. Let me hear it. I'm, all, I'm, all, I'm, I'm here for that. I'm here for that. I'm here for it, man. I'm here all for it, you know? We have a wave four uh, for the tracks afterwards. But I gotta say, there's something around wave four that makes me feel the most hyped. Can we get like a reminder? Can I like remind myself? Uh, all waves. I wanna give myself like a, you know, like a, little, a little reminder. What was it? Because I saw some people saying wave three. Oh, mostly it had to be wave three. So I'm just like, what was in what was in wave three again? Hang on, let me do uh, the Mario Wiki. Mario Wiki, my beloved. Rock Rock Mountain, my also my beloved, yes. Yeah, I definitely saw some shouts for like Way 3. I didn't, you know what I didn't see? I didn't see enough people voting for Way 5. That, was, that actually disappointed me a lot, because I'm like, Way 5 was like, Way for me, if it, I haven't thought about this properly yet. I might do a video on this if, it's, if enough people are interested. But right now, without thinking about it too much, it goes 4, 5, and then everyone else is in the middle, and then 1 is at the bottom. <laughs> that's good. Right now, if you were to ask me, that that's kind of how I have it. It goes four, five. The other, was it two, three, and six are kind of like in the middle, just like fighting in the middle, like monkeys in the middle of a fighting boxing ring. And then wave four is just like he got he got kicked out of the club. He ain't coming in. Brother is not allowed in the club. Who does blood think he is? He is not allowed in here. But like, yeah, wave. wave uh, ooh, what the hell? Where have you gone? Where did the tracks go? I just had him. Oh, here we go. Uh, so this is obviously wave one with these lot. Yeah, this is just... <laughs> you had a coconut fucking coconut... Uh, what, what's the slander name we can give coconut more? Coconut ball? <laughs> coconut hall? Because there's no one in there anymore? <laughs> well, like fucking Lakitu circuit? Choco Mountain was pretty all right. The fucking Toad... <laughs> Who's like... Who's like Tokyo, Toad Circuit, Tokyo Play? You had the staff on a good note? Brother, brother. Oh, brother, this guy stinks. But yeah, wave three. What did wave three have? And what? Uh, Peach Gardens, Rock Rock Manon, Maple Tree, Rainbow Road. Blue Lake was also pretty solid. Berlin Byways, once you get the hang of it, it's pretty okay. London is just... Uh, and Merry Mountain is kind of mid, if I'm being honest. But the wave three was good. It was good. It wasn't crazy. 
Then you had Wave 5. A lot of people were sleeping on Wave 5. Like, what? It was only, what, Los Angeles and... What was the other one? Sunset Wild? The rest of these are pretty solid. Come on, right? Surely. But this is this is my goat. This is my goat, if I'm being honest. Singapore Snooze Wave. <laughs> That's just mean. I, I think you're just lying. No, I wouldn't say you're lying. I think that's a fair take, but... Singapore Speedway was... It's definitely the best tour. Maybe it's... Maybe it's kind of, like, gone up in our brains because it's just, like, by far the best tour track because that's the most going on, you know? But, you know, it's, it's all right. It's all right. Yoshi's Island is phenomenal. Let's let's be honest. Let's be honest. Yoshi's Island is something else. DK Summer is amazing. Yoshi... Waluigi Stadium... Riverside Park is a good remake. Come on. God, it's a good remake. Uh, Amster Amsterdam is like the only one where I'm just kind of like... Because Bangkok... Like, the, the, listen, the, the, the parking garage. <laughs> it's got the parking garage at least, which is way more than most tour cities have. And then Mario Circuit. It's, it's probably the best circuit gameplay-wise, even though it's still just the circuit, unfortunately. <laughs> but it's still okay. It's, it's, it's okay. It's all right. Tour cities are overhated. What makes you say that, Terrorbog? I, I think they're, to be honest, I think they're correctly hated, if I'm being honest. Because other than other than Singapore, Vancouver, and I think uh, Madrid is okay as well. What else do you have? Paris? It's all right. Tokyo? It's pretty shit. New York? Pretty shit. <laughs> Sydney? Pretty mid. London? Pretty mid. Berlin? A complicated mess. Amsterdam, it's okay. Bangkok, it's okay, except for the one part that I really like. Athens, pretty fun. Los Angeles, pretty mid again. Romavanti, pretty mid again. And Madrid is pretty fun. It's pretty it's pretty fun, I would say. So what how many how many funds did I give it? It's like one, two. And that's kind of <laughs> nothing up here. I would keep no right now if you told me all of these all these six are gone. And the only ones that I stay are Athens Dash and Madrid. Vancouver and Singapore. Yeah, I'd be okay with that. Bangkok, Athens, Madrid, Singapore, Vancouver. Get rid of the rest. Send them home, okay? Send them home. <laughs> Vancouver is very overrated. Listen, who's that? Raul, I just, I see your argument. Your argument actually makes a lot of sense. It really does. I can see why you think that. But then at the same time, right? At the same time, I have just one rebuttal for you, all right? Iwi, my beloved. <laughs> okay, don't worry, guys. We confirmed he's, he's trolling, guys. Oh, he, 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 he retracted it. I saw that message. I saw you delete, Raul. <laughs> he, said he didn't like the. He said he hates the OST mods. <laughs> Liquidate his spine. That, that's it. We, we confirmed. Raul is just trolling. I can I can just ignore his takes now. There we go. There we go. He's, he's just trolling Andy. <laughs> all right. All right. Okay. Send him home, lads. I'll keep this playing. Send him home. Send him home, boys. Send him home. Uh, let's have a look at some more. For clears. JD, see, JD's correct. JD's got the correct take. Why can't you all be like him? Nicest and most graphics and all of the most amazing. True. We remember it automatically makes it the best. Just what just we remember roads? Is we remember road just enough to carry? It's a phenomenal track. I don't need to sing its praises any more than everyone else on planet Earth already has. But musty jump scare. I don't think it's enough to carry a whole wave. Yeah, like was it BC3 and we are uh, it's just not enough for me. I need a bit more. If I said, I said it in my wave six, but if there was at least one more, one more like good one on that level, I would have been like, you know what, wave six, I can see it. But you only have two really phenomenal tracks and the rest of them just... Gonna be honest. Yeah, wave four. Diabetic, man. I hope I hope they find a cure for diabetes just for you, man. Uh, every single wave is half bangers, half mid for me. Do you know what, wave six, wave four clip, synth popper. Another, another, the, we're on a correct side, right side of history. Maybe that was the most consistently good tracks of my ears. Uh, well, if we had Maple Tree, of course. Maple Chandelier is obviously going to go for Maple Tree. Track Jesus is in Wave 6 of Six Winds. Shut up, Band. 
<laughs> suck. Uh, can't believe most of you guys conclude wave one. I know, right? It let me pick four options. What am I supposed to do? But to be honest, no one's favorite wave is wave one. Like, if we're being serious, let's be let's be serious. Let's be serious. Let's be serious, gamers. Let's be serious. By the way, no one no one's favorite set of tracks is this one. There's, there's no way. Like Shroom Ridge is the only like st like Shroom Ridge is carrying. And it, it's failing. Like, it's hot. It's trying to carry it on its back and it can't carry the whole wave. Like, Tokyo Blur just weighs too much, you know? It just weighs too much. Ninja's solid enough. I know Ninja gets a very, is a very, very divisive track. Very divisive track. I think it's good. I don't think it's anything crazy. I just think it's good. Of course, you know what? I love Cuomo. Cuomo always has, like, the fun. Cuomo makes me laugh with his comments every, every time. I'm a big fan of Cuomo Stan. <laughs> He's like a recurring character in my ch in my chat in the YouTube comments. I love I love Cuomo. He's my favorite New York Prime Minister, I think, or Mayor. I don't know who he is actually in real life. Wave four has to be a favorite. Wave four, wave four added Birdo, Birdo Andy. Wave four is what's <laughs> true. Literally, yeah, a lot of people seem to comment wave four. Even uh, way four wins track wise, but I'm on way six for the item bagging nerfs alone. Was that enough for you guys? To be honest, I didn't really. If I'm being honest, when it came to my takes, I'm mainly basing it off the tracks. Characters are good, but to be honest, I can always play Luigi and Waluigi and Yoshi in every game. So if you're asking me about characters, to be honest, I don't really care. I've got my three mains that I play, and that's kind of it. I might play Pauline for the fun of it, but if you told me in the next Mario Kart. Uh, I wouldn't really care if I'm being honest. Yeah, all in all, I think Wave 4 was the was the standout. It was the standout, so. Dry Dry Runes is great. It should have got in. It should have. It should have, but hey, it's another desert track, so who really cares, really? Who really cares, really? All right, gamers, who should we do first? We've got, we've got, I've got two, I've got two reactions for you. Is that, are we, are we weeding or are we hawking? I'll, 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 let, I'll let you guys, I'll let you guys pick who goes first. We're getting weedy with it. Let's get weedy with it. All right. Weedy is DK Mountain. I'll put you on pause for now. Mr. Weed Man. All right, guys. You know who he is. You know his name. It's Biff Weed. And he's back at it again with all of our childhoods, our collective childhoods. He decided to review Mario Kart DS. Mission mode overrated. The mission mode overrated, guys? I don't know. I don't know. I wonder what he thinks about the mission mode. I don't know if he talks about it here. What I do know is that he has a video. He has a video that we're going to review right now. Every Mario Kart DS track ranked by Biffweed, and you guys all know the rules, and so do I. Very nice. If you're gonna be, if you're gonna make a comment about him, I'm, I'm, I'm watching all of you like a fork. You better behave. If you disagree with him, be polite about it. Let's continue. Biffweed, start us off, man. I've had Mario Kart on the brain a lot over the last year. A couple of months back, I talked about Mario Kart Wii and ranked its seller track selection list. And that was some of the most fun I've ever had making a video. So sure, I'll do another one, why not? The next best option after the main one I played during my childhood would be to tackle one of the other ones. Oh, the video's a little quiet. Ooh, okay, let me fix that. Thank you for telling me. Uh, that's about as loud as I can get it. Hang on, hang on. Let me try to get a little bit. There we go. I played the most. Better? That's about as loud as I can get it, unfortunately. So I hope it's good. Biff Weed, you got up you got up the thing. You got up the, the volume. I played the most. I don't have eight deluxe right now and don't plan to until the booster course passes. He's down. got an update, don't... he's got it now, by the way. He's got it now. And he I think in his in his like first impressions tier list, he he gave Mount Warrior an S, so Biff Weed, he's on the right side of history. Smoke weed every day. I, I trust Biff. I trust Biff. No one's gonna care about a coverage of the base Wii U version. So I guess DS it is. Someone what if I told you I cared, Biff? What if I told you I cared? I want you to do just base eight. Can you do that for me? It's me to ask why Rob is in this game, so uh yeah, why was he? I why only not? just recently watched the Scott the Wasp Mario Kart videos, so now I finally understand the context on that. But uh there you go. I hope Oh, is that is there actually a reason like a law reason why Rob was in? I'm not familiar with this. I must have missed this Scott the Was video. I must have missed it. But yeah, DS is all of our childhoods, right? All of us. I never own it. You never own this game? That's a crime, all right? We and... When it comes to millennials and Zoomers, the part that links us both together is we and DS. Because we all played it when we were children, all right? All of us did. You guys were like five and six. I was like 13, 14. But all in all, we were still children, all right? We were still young'uns. We all played it, all right? We all played it. 
That's how it is. That's the, that's like the connecting point between the two generations. You know, when I talk about Super Circuit and Double Dash, you guys are like, uh, what? Yeah, and then when I talk about seven and eight, I'm just like, fuck you, Zoomers, fuck all of you. But see, this is the connecting point that we can all relate to. I love it. You're happy. This game holds a very special place in my heart. I might have made more memories with family through Wii and 8, but I got this game and my original DS on the same day that my brother was born. So this is a special day associated with it that the <laughs> others don't. I hadn't played this one in a while before I decided to start making Thank this Thank you video, very much. And very I was kind. looking forward to getting back into it after so long. And my main takeaway is, oh my god, how did I ever play this alongside the Wii version? Like, it's a <laughs> good game, great even. Sure. What was it, like 11 out of the 12? like 16 nitros 11 out of 16 nitros just suck absolutely just suck bro the ds the ds was carried by the fact that you could have one cart and play up to like eight people granted you only got to play like two cups but the fact that that was even possible was amazing and i played that so much when i was a kid but how can i enjoy this there's no trick system the entire experience is the True. equivalent of <laughs> anticipating a sneeze that never happens i exaggerate of course but i do prefer we by a fair margin that is to be expected though we did have a more powerful console to run more ambitious tracks on, True. as well as a much wider selection of retros to pull from. True. I already think it made a few questionable choices in that department, but the key word there is questionable choices. With DS, it is painfully clear how slim the pickings were. And I'm so mad I couldn't trick since I played Wii first. I do think that's actually quite... So for me, when I play an old Mario Kart I can't trick, I'm just like... Because I'm used to it at this point, but I imagine if you played Wii and go backwards, you're just like spamming the button constantly. What? What's that? Like, it must be it must have been a bit it must have been a bit crazy hey 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 hey, yo hey behave yourself hey listen when biff waffles wear like butter okay i can't listen someone else can someone else can someone else there we go i can find i can do the thing thank you hey leave biff alone i like when he waffles talk to me in that deep testosterone filled voice of yours come on really way down the overall quality of the roster which is such a shame given how great the nitro lineup here is the snes and gba tracks are about what you'd expect but the double dash picks especially clearly suffered going to a handheld system from a home console everything Definitely. ds could have picked from there is either boring as shit or would have likely been more than what the system could handle one of them even manages the seemingly impossible balancing act of doing both I'll discuss those as they come up though. Same guidelines apply for this as the previous Mario Kart video. Objective analysis takes a complete backseat to how fun I find the tracks to race on. Music True. and aesthetic can play a big role Boston in the rankings. Boston and building, let's know! Extent, so does he call it, does he call it Boston building? I don't know if this was uploaded before, uh, like, I hope he does. Give me the, the you have to give me the, you have to, you have to give me the crap man reference or the whole video is ruined. Footage sources will be linked in the description as always because I don't have a capture card. Now that's enough for the intro, let's get into things. Now of course we all know guys, we all know right? Uh, we're expecting to see SNES Choco Island 2 at the very bottom. Do not disappoint us, Biff. Don't disappoint us, Biff. <laughs> Otherwise, your opinion's wrong. Already off to a great start, because I actually need an F tier this time. I had SNES Hooray! Choco Island 2 a spot ahead initially, but Small the more things I replay this, the more I can see. Now, I've heard people say this track looks hideous. I don't entirely agree with that. Sure, the main color scheme is a little boring, but it's not ugly. Then you remember it's a SNES track and see all the bright red, blue, green, and yellow. Brick. I don't like these. I really hate these, like, colored blocks. Like, th this is supposed to appeal to my nostalgia playing Super Circuit, and yet I fucking hate them. Who actually likes these colored blocks? No one likes these. Go they need to start... They need to stop using them. They need to stop. Please stop using them. Bricks on the outskirts that clash horribly. No and one likes only them. To be an eyesore. Stop it. If it was just an ugly course, then that's one thing. But oh my god, racing on this one's obnoxious. It's, a it's, a it's painful. Mud. And the ramps it's that so take painful. up the majority of the path, some of which practically force you onto the off road. Yeah, they they needed to blend into the track, experience. honestly. The music is pleasant at the very least, and I kind of like that the piranha. Heads act as hazards. Besides that, this is terrible and drags down the otherwise really good lightning cup. Now, I haven't played more than one round of Double Dash in my life, Fix so that. I can't exactly comment on how good the tracks in it are. But when it comes to Baby Park, I'm aware that it's very divisive. The people that hate it think the basic oval shape is incredibly dull and uninteresting. But the people now, this that the love part it are in it isn't. getting Oh, no! Whoops! This is the part where you say, Biff, hey, um, it might have been fun in Double Dash, I don't know, but in DS it sucks. That's the part where you say that, okay? Because you better not be a Baby Park denier, I swear to God. 
spectacle, although shape is incredibly dull and uninteresting. But the people that love it are in it for the chaos. Yes, the course is tiny and me. simple, but the huge special items, fast and slippery nature of the game, and cramped course layout make it more about causing as much mayhem as possible. It runs for seven laps instead of the usual three to make the race last longer than the yawn that half the people playing will inevitably be doing. So players will always be in close proximity to each other. If you take that away, if you reduce the lap count, take out all the huge chaotic items, make the controls far less slippery, and remove some of the cool background scenery for good measure, you no longer have Baby Park. What you're left with is a boring oval with music that, while fun, whimsical, and potentially maddening in a vacuum, no longer- I, I wonder, like, I just wonder know whose idea it was to- DS Baby Park. Whose idea was that? Whose idea was that really? Like, it's so bad. <laughs> it's like, it's unforgettable. I love, man, I'm a Baby Park truth for here. I'm a Baby Park. I love Baby Park. I think it's a fantastic track, but I don't know whose idea that was, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Fetus Funland. Hell yeah. What's in D? Hey, basically every retro is in D. Look, I like except to think Sky I'm pretty lenient on the circuit tracks. I understand that they're meant to ease new players into the game. Hell, I put the starting circuits in Wii around the middle of the pack there, because they fulfilled their purposes well enough, and I don't expect anything crazy from them. That said, I at least expect something. Literally one element Mario of creativity in the layout or theming. Wii showed off the trick system and taught the player to keep an eye out for potential alternate paths. Seven and eights introduced the gliding and anti-gravity gimmicks. Double up, Dash and 64 had different scenery and played around with their layouts a little bit. Even the sprite games have actual hazards and off-road shortcuts. Figure 8 circuit has nothing. Wait, it is nothing. Figure 8 it's slander, kind of baby, let's go! It is the most basic We're smoking that figure, figure 8 pack, gamers. And too long to so you either have to do nothing for an extended period of time or practice sneaking. I'll never, neither of those options is I will fun. never forgive... I'll let the video run. I will never forgive that one person. I don't know who it was when I did my looking at your retro picks for Mario Kart 9 and someone put the figure 8 circuit. I will never forgive you for that. That was genuinely shocking. I don't know whose idea it was to bring this back, honestly. Get him. Oh, send them home. What's next, though? C tier at first, because it seemed perfectly inoffensive and bland. But okay, for a second there, I don't know why, but I thought it was Cooper Peach, Cooper Peach Z. Maybe it's, I got a bit of Dragon Ball Z on the mind, I don't know why. But the more Super I Saiyan Coopers, maybe? The less I liked it, to the point where I couldn't justify to myself putting it above that other soundtrack. Outside of the admittedly neat part with the deep water spots, this is literally just a circle with nothing else going on. Cooper There's Beach Z. And a tide, but they Lost like time on Cooper Beach Z. There's nothing interesting to look at. I, I still don't get why in Cooper Beach Z, there are these, like, the, the dark sand is like so very... Like, it just looks so sloppy, doesn't it? You see what I mean by the dark sand? Like, it's so very clearly in, like, a line. Instead of like, because in the original SNES version, like the, the greenery was obviously where it slowed you down, but it wasn't so clearly marked with like a line. Do you know what it reminds me of? Do you know like a cartoon when there's like, when they have like a background that's like static, but they have the one part of the background that the character like interacts with is like a different color and shade. So you can obviously tell that's the only part the animator's bothered doing. That's what this feels like to me. And I hate it. I just hate the way it looks so much. Off-road and a tide, but they both feel like complete non-factors. There's nothing interesting to look at. The yeah, it's bland. It's bland, again, brother. It's bland. Oh, is it Desert Hills next? Oh my god, let's go. Level. Yes, Truth be told, I've a bit more of an appreciation for this one. I still don't like it at all, but after seeing how much worse it could have been, yeah, I'll take this any day over the stuff I ranked lower. This one is at least trying with its unique Mario Bros. 3 theming and tossing in some rarely seen enemies like the Pokies. Plus, there are some neat shortcuts. That's about as nice as I'm gonna be to this track, though. I still don't like Desert too levels, nice. I still don't care for the music here, I still find it kind of uninteresting to race on, and I still think it was a terrible decision to bring it back straight away from Wii when that one already had a much better Desert stage in its nitro selection. It's not even that I think this is Someone necessarily got for that call, honestly. track, I just inherently don't like desert courses. Between this and the remake, I have pretty much no desert preference. Desert Hells? Give me the some slander names, easier, guys. Give me some slander names while Biff is slandering it. On the bumpy hills. Both pretty minor differences for a track I... <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> you, you, you look, I mean, I guess it kind of looks like curry. I suppose. I, don't care for you. I suppose you're not wrong. <laughs> 
That just that just sent me way off guard. Holy shit. We're just gonna call it Curry Hills now. I think I do kind of see it now. We're just gonna call it Curry Hills now. <laughs> Either way. The curry curve. <laughs> Thank you for that, Duncan. I think you've made my well, night. Did I know before starting this that the C in C tier would stand for circuit. <laughs> SNES Mario Circuit 1 is more excusable as a I shell go. cup course than putting Mario Circuit 3 in the next game's <laughs> lightning cup, I guess. But this one also has a way simpler way out. There are some pipes as hazards, but this one isn't really anything to write home about. I have no real opinion on it one way or the other. SNES Donut Plains 1. You have no idea how heartbroken I was upon hearing the name Donut Plains for the first time and finding out it was a grass track instead of being something themed around actual donuts. No, oh, that must have too. been heartbreaking to you, honestly. I mean, I guess it was, it was heartbreaking to me as well, but... It could have been about donuts, but... Yeah. Donut part of the name being Bland. very misleading. It delivers on the plain part exceptionally well. It is overwhelmingly okay with its layout and presentation. <laughs> the bridge is a nice addition, I suppose, and I like the cut she could... <laughs> Masala Speedway. <laughs> Oh, classic. That's what it's called. Desert Hills is Masala Big Speedway. Mushrooms. It's a basic SNES track. I, I don't know what you want from me. GBA Peach Circuit. If you had to pick one of the Super Circuit, well, circuits, why Peach Circuit? Could it not have at least been the one where it's raining so it at least has some unique element? Oh, they actually did include that one. <laughs> Wait, so then what's the point of this one? <laughs> Whatever, it's fine. It sure <laughs> is bored, a circuit. Bro. <laughs> not bad by any means, but I'm never going to be stoked to race on it. And yeah, GBA Luigi Circuit is in pretty much the same boat. But at least the rain makes it a little more unique in presentation. The puddle hazards are alright, and I like how one of them is strategically placed behind an item. Oh, I love how- Also, oh, hang on, I just noticed. I think Biff used the same background video as me, because I remember this exact clip, right? In my same video, I showed this exact clip. Little like, the Mario gets, like, bullied, the puddle hazards and then he, he gets the what I remember going, yes! Fuck that Mario! <laughs> I already used the same- oh, right, and so I like how one of them is strategically placed behind I remember an that. box as a solid punish if you're not paying attention. Plus, I like the Luigi blimp. Like I said before, I'm usually pretty lenient towards nitro circuits in the context of being starting courses for newcomers, but most of that goodwill goes out for DS's Mario circuit considering it's in the Star Cup. Mm -hmm. Not even the start of the Star Cup, it's track number three of four for some reason. Why is this? This stage has a lot of stands. Who is it? Who is it in the chat? There's got to be at least like two people that are like... Remember when it came back on the booster course pass, everyone was like, but, but it's a good one! It's like, gameplay-wise, it's the most interesting, but it's still fucking bland, bro. Like, what? You got U-turns, well done! Hang on, let me. Okay, let me. Let me just hang on. Let me just. Let me. Let me just. Let me just back up for a second. Let me, let me scratch that in reverse. Let's, let's. Let's kill. Let's kill this. Right. Let's kill this for a second. I'm gonna. I'm gonna design. I'm gonna design a track just for the. Just for the. There it is. Do you, you guys like that? You DS Mario stand. Do you like that? Excellent track, right? Yeah. Yeah. You a fan of that? Yeah. Oh, let me. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. I got something better for you. I got something better for you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hang on, hold the, hold the applause, gamers. Hold the, hold the laughter. I've got one more for you. I've got. Oh, that's crazy! Oh my god, another you! Another fucking. That's crazy! Yo! Oh, but hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm about to go even. I'm about to go even crazier. I'm about to go even crazier, gamers. Oh, look at that. Isn't that just so well designed? Isn't that just so well designed? That's how you look. That's how you look playing this fucking track, man. Get out of here. Send them, send them home. Send them all the fuck home, lads. what they followed up TikTok clock with. You could swap it for any Flower Cup track and I'd probably rank this a tier above. Because even though it's pretty plain visually, it actually has a solid layout with a lot of turns, good shortcut potential, well, a few enemies, like to use as well, I guess. and a cool sight tunnel. As a late game course though, it's very underwhelming, especially compared to the great lineup surrounding it in its cup. At the very least, I can say this works better as a late game course than figure eight circuit does as an early game one. N64 Moomoo Farms has a mildly charming theme and decent music, and not much else going for. It. There are Monty Moles to make you watch out when drifting on the inside of the road and a kind of cool bridge, but this is otherwise the embodiment of an okay shell cup yeah, course with a very not, not really much to say. Props yeah. to it for being the only non-circuit track in its cup, though. That's got to count for something. Yeah. I guess I kind of like it, but it's just an inferior Moo Moo Meadows as far as I'm concerned. From what I'm told about Double Dash, the DS version of GameCube Luigi Circuit is the best thing ever made. Shortcuts and alternate routes it's the, the best thing track. ever made. Yeah, general, you're right. This is like Baby Park in the sense that it's not as good on the DS considering how much tamer this game is. Though it's not nearly to this It's a shame, really. I'll just move on ahead because, yeah. yeah. Well enough, Luigi's circuit just sucks. Yoshi, play. hang on, Yoshi, Yoshi Falls? In C tier? I think it's oh. a fine enough little mushroom cup course. I thought, that the, I I thought this was enjoy. Peak Falls, huh, Biff? I thought this was Peak Falls. Oh, huh? I thought it was. He lied to me. He said this was Peak Falls. He lied to me. He put it in 20th. Decently enough, <laughs> and not much else. The scenery is pretty to look at. The risk reward element of the waterfalls is kind of neat. It's still a bit too hard, though, isn't it? Yoshi's circle. And yeah, it was. 
a poor choice to bring back in Wii despite giving it a few fun trek ramps. But I don't see it as well. I don't know, guys. I, I, you know, I'm going to be honest. Desert Hill looks like curry. I think Yoshi falls on the, the sides. It kind of looks like lettuce. I think if we combine all the tracks together, we're going to have a nice, hearty, full meal of Mario Kart DS. It's going to be amazing. Worst courses in the series or anything. It's a simple early game course, and I am perfectly content with that. Congratulations, Yoshi Falls. You get to be the king of mid in this game. <laughs> a greater status than would be given to you by any other Mario Kart player. BT, okay, let's get to, the, let's get to the good stuff, man. Let's get to the good stuff. It's almost poetic that a circuit is what closes out the entire track selection list. But I actually like GameCube Yoshi Circuit well enough. I mean, it's shaped no like tunnel. a Yoshi. What more could you want? No tunnel. Well, other than the shortcuts and Yoshi. Yeah! Tunnel, mentioned. tunnel okay, mentioned! Tunnel mentioned! Wait, hang on, what? Well, other than the shortcuts. I saw a meme there. They removed from the double dash version. Holy shit, Mario Kart Double Dash. There's a Yoshi Cop. The we love Yoshi. Yoshi Cop to my beloved. I'm, gl I'm glad Biff gave it the respect it deserves. Gosh. Okay, I think that's the checklist of all the obligatory talking points for this track over and done with. Overall, it's pretty solid, but kind of underwhelming as a final course with how barren it is. And it yeah, I, I still don't know why this was like the last course in Lightning Cup. Has there been any another underwhelming? Well, I guess uh, <laughs> controversially, I might get, I might get boost for this, but... What's it? I think N64 Bowser Castle is a lame end to Wii's retro selection as well. Why are you, why are you booing me? I'm right. Why are you booing me? I'm right. I mean, I'm right. Lively than the original version. Sucks. We all have that one track that's a consistent run killer, right? For me, of all things, it's GBA Bowser Castle 2. I lose on this one against the bots way more than any other in the game for some reason. This works for me a little better than the other GBA Bowser Castle in Wii. It's still a visually repetitive... <laughs> What was that? What Biff? What was that, mate? This works for me a little better than the other GBA Bowser Castle in Wii. It's you prefer DS BC2 over Wii BC3? Biff, 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 is, Biff is going. GBA course, but the way this one works with the boost pads and jumps over the lava pits of varying lengths are pretty fun, actually. I like that you can't get over the longer ones without a mushroom. That's a good way to keep players on their toes and stop them from getting cocky with the jump. Biff just likes jumps, you know? Biff just likes... Do you know, do you know how we'll get Biff to enjoy this stream more, guys? Do you know how we'll get Biff to enjoy this stream? Uh, I just gotta go, I just gotta go boing, I just gotta do, I just gotta throw in it one of those every now and again, I just gotta boing, you know, go, woo, 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 Biff, you enjoying this, huh, you enjoying this? I'm jumping around, that's what you like about this, huh? So Unbelievable. yeah, overall, a good track that I enjoy. I've mentioned a few times that I haven't played Double Dash much before, but I really want to at some point considering what I've heard about the track selection there. I mean, if this is the neuter to all hell version of Mushroom Bridge, then the original must be something really special. Like I know this subscribe. version removed several shortcuts and kind of missed the point, but in spite of that, I think this is a really fun traffic course. The cars aren't as varied. I wonder, like, if I have a video idea, which is like, I'm ranking every shortcut. I think the Mushroom Bridge one is like, if I was to do like a ranking every shortcut in, like in, in the entire series i think like this shortcut has to be like in its own like tier of like legendary status because it is as a shortcut it's so bad but boy does it feel extremely satisfying to be <laughs> it's like the worst like i think it's barely faster than taking the normal route and with how precise you have to be you're probably expecting a massive it is like so useless it is so useless, I hate it. <laughs> Listen, kind of the point. But in spite of that, I think this is a really fun traffic course. The cars aren't as varied on the GameCube or as plentiful as on the Wii, but they serve their purpose well as a tricky hazard. The scenery's pleasant, the one intact shortcut is nice, the music is great. It's still a good course, even if it's just a husk of its former self. For as unimpressive as most of these retro courses are, I gotta give props to the N64 risk one. Risk reward though. I mean, when the, the reward way. is like, <laughs> when the risk is like 80% and the reward is like one, is like, that's, that's not, that's not right. <laughs> that ain't right. Moon Moon Farms is whatever, but I actually quite like the other three. The weakest of them, though, is Choco Mountain. I like the visuals here, aided by the fog. The rolling boulders on that cliffside are good hazards as well. Have we got any, have we got a Choco uh, Mountain Troopers in chat? I mean, I'm going to be honest, I'm just kind of like... You know, when it comes to Choco Mountain. Which is the only acceptable soundtrack in the game. This fulfills its role as an early game track very well. I like it. It's not especially challenging. I actually like this rendition of Cheap Cheap Beach. Here and there. The Cheap Cheaps themselves are a little bit pitiful with how out of the way they are, but the crabs work well enough. It's got a very endearing theme with plenty of variety in the scenery and locations it takes you to considering how relatively short of a race it is. Between the There's beach 64 itself, the jungle area after the entire it, selection. and the at the start, which has this very satisfying jump. Very weird way to spell uh, GBA Sky Garden, but sure. Oh, they have One it. weird little noise that plays during it. Oh, you meant, nice you, 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 you meant 
mentioned it. Oh my god, he mentioned the boing. Biff, I can't believe this. Here, I really like that one weird little noise that plays during it. <laughs> nice stuff all around, just not as boing mentioned. Yes, and one more time. Weird little noise that plays during it. <laughs> Nice stuff all around. It's like the best sound ever made. I really like Wario Stadium. I fucking love that sound. It's probably the one held back the most by debuting too early in the series. I don't want to harp too much on the lack of tricks in this game, but yeah, all the jumps and such. Yeah, feel this, is, this is probably like the one time where a lack of trick system kind of even bothers me. When I go back to play old Mario Kart, it doesn't bother me. But this stage definitely seems like it was made for tricks. It's the same with Waluigi Stadium and GameCube as well. It's like the trick system is just so well made for that kind of track. It just feels a bit. Empty for that. Link complete without it. Still, this is pretty damn solid. Much like Waluigi Stadium from the games prior and after, it builds the atmosphere of a big sporting event. Yeah, if I was well to do it, I would do like the unique shortcuts, you know? I wouldn't just do like Even the. A version yeah, of the you know, track overview yeah. jingle that only plays on this course. The actual music for the track, though, I mean, it's good for obvious reasons, but it does kind of just make me want to play on Waluigi Pinball instead. Yeah. Oh well. I still like this one with all its fun boosts and jumps. Well, it's it's not never favorite, been good. It's very good. Shrimp I think it's just kind of. It's just kind of like okay. I think in every game I've kind of put it in like CB area. I can't see myself ever putting any higher. It's just a, it's okay to good. Like it's well, it's like good enough design, I suppose. But like the theming doesn't really interest me. The hazards aren't really anything crazy. I mean, it's fun enough to weave around. Like low B is probably like where it deserves really. Just the older, Somewhere around there. Brother of if it's like Island. higher than this one B, I'd be like, do with you know. Successor. But I find this traffic course way more calming, and it makes for such a pleasant experience. Fitting given that it's in the flower cup rather than the special cup. The grassy aesthetic isn't one I'd usually find. Good I think back when I was a kid, I did not rate this track at all, but I'm a changed man. I've seen the light. I fucking love Shroom Ridge. Interesting. But so this being good. like a regular country so road good. you drive on normally does it a lot of favors for me. It's got good music, a nice windy layout, enough cars to keep you on your toes without going as hard on it as Moonview. This one's just a vibe, it's nice. Oh yeah, the and the uh, obligatory. <laughs> oh it did he doesn't mention me! <laughs> I was about to say the line, and he does it for me. I forgot. I, I remember. I remember he, he referenced me. I remember that. No, my green screen fell. I was that excited. I can't believe this. <laughs> so much he mentioned. Let's go. Let's go. Your toes going. A lot of favors for me. It's got good music, a nice windy layout, enough cars to keep you on your toes without going as hard on it as Moonview. This one's just a vibe. It's nice. Oh yeah, and uh, obligatory sort of musty reference. Yeah. I feel like N64 Banshee is one of those kinds of tracks more focused on building atmosphere That's how you all sound, that's how all of you sound. Exciting. And it does that quite well, I'd say. The ominous music, booze that are floating around, dark backgrounds Banshee and that Bo random giant fish all make this feel like one of the more unsettling tracks. Banshee Boardwalk, really? Really, Biff? Banshee Boardwalk? A long way from topping 64's Bowser Castle, but for what it is, it does that job way better than stuff like the original Boo Lake in Ghost Valleys. Otherwise, it's a fun course, just not a super flashy one or anything. The big drop is cool, and I like the abandoned building, but those bats are still- The big drop is cool? Again, again, re repost this part of the stream to make Biffweed enjoy it. So I gotta like, bounce around, and then go- Where am I gonna come out? Oh! <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> so pretty annoying. GBA Sky Garden is so much better than I expected. Obviously it's only t only 11th? What the fuck? Hey, yo! It's a flat GBA course, so it's not exactly a highlight of the yes. franchise. What are you doing? But I think this is easily the best retro pull from Super Smash. To be fair, is B and it's B tier as well? Like, even if we ignore the number, mid, what is it, mid B? Has he got, he's just got S tiers, okay. Mid B. 11th best and mid B. That's Biff. Oh, Biff. Oh, Biff, what are you doing to me, lads? You're killing me. I've stood up for you, man. Circuit prior to eight. The cloudy theme with all the beanstalks make for something really visually distinct from everything Like, even else I'm a GBA simp, and even I, I will admit, like, this version is just, there's a satin about this version. I don't know what it is, but there's a satin about this version I really like. The game, despite the best efforts of the multicolored blocks. And even though there's no verticality or anything, there are still plenty of turns and shortcut opportunities. Ones you have to be careful with, or else you'll run the risk of flying straight off as you boost over the ramps. It baffles me that Super Circuit's retros were 80% Bowser's castles and boring-ass circuits for the longest time. Because 
because if the rest of them were this good, I honestly wouldn't have. They are. There are some like Cheeseland or Ribbon Road that I would have loved to have seen. Cheeseland the mentioned. Seven. Luckily though, after the kind of raw deal that they'd been getting, it has been giving the GBA track special treatment by revamping them entirely. Prior to those though, I can confidently say that Sky Garden is my favorite, and overall, it's one of the best retros in all of DS. Oh yeah, and the Blimp from Luigi Circuit shows up here. Nice Come continuity. On, how can you not love that? Yeah. DK Pass walks. So oh, <laughs> I was, about to, I was literally just about to give Biff some credit saying, hey guys, listen, go easy on him, all right? It's 11th, and that's still 11th best in the game, right? It's 11th out of 32, and then he just does this, and then he does this to me. Oh, Battenberg. Battenberg is like... <laughs> Cheers, Banberg. <laughs> Banberg, you got Banberg in the chat just like fucking lifted the dinner plate up on his track, thinking it was a fucking community shield. He's celebrating this like he won a trophy. I can't fucking believe this lad. The DK snowboard cross oh, it's, it's so this neat. Didn't even come close to its successor, but I still got a lot out of it. It's a fun track all the way up and down oh, this mountain, Biff. rather than exclusively. I can't believe this. Defense. So it's not like it's completely the same, despite sharing a theme. This one also has snowman and giant snowballs as hazards, which is pretty neat. And generally, I think it's a nice looking snow level with a solid musical score that. It feels very different from the usual music's okay. I can't help but, but feel the music would fit another track theme better though. Like, am I the only one who heard this song at first and was surprised it wasn't in a beach track or something like Peach Gardens? No, I'm gonna be honest. I, I think you. I make the joke. I think you've been smoking too much, but like, well and truly, I think I think you are. I'm not joking. I think DK Pass's music definitely does sound like a a mountain trek type beat. You know, like that's. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's wild. That's a wild statement, but okay. <laughs> I don't know. That might just be me. Yeah, the one I think thing that it's really stands be out here was this hill with the item box on it. I'm not Normally touching that. this would be a standard cool shortcut. Oh, also, guys, uh, if you want a drinking game, uh, take a drink for every single time on my Mario Kart DS tier list. Somebody says that I forgot to mention this. No, I didn't forget to mention this. I just didn't know. <laughs> so, I didn't know this was a thing, so... There you go. If you're curious, there you go. If you had a mushroom. But this one is unique as far as I'm aware, and it guarantees you a mushroom or star, regardless of what place in the race you are. So if you have a mushroom already... I actually didn't know that. It doesn't really up, change... But if you're all... uh, it, also, it also doesn't change my placement, neither. It's still, it's still just seeing. <laughs> already way behind of everyone, then you're unlikely to have a mushroom in the first place to get all the way through the off-roads, especially with how easy it is to lose them in DS. So you'd likely have to sink a lot more time into getting it. That's a nice way to make it not completely broken. I wish other tracks did stuff like this where you could go out of your way for a guaranteed good item. Like, imagine if Peach Gardens had this on the Chim Chomp's path at the start. Or while there's a, there's a gimmick they haven't really used often. I think another time they did it was um, the, NC, the original version of Luigi Raceway. If I'm not mistaken, you know the Luigi balloon that comes down? I think that gives you a blue shell, guaranteed. I might be wrong on that, someone correct me. But I think those are the only times in the series they've ever like had a guaranteed item box. If, I don't think I remember anything more off the top of my head. Um, but yeah, they, that's a gimmick they haven't really used too much. I guess it'd be a hard way to balance it in modern Mario Kart, but it'd be interesting to see it work. I'll head one behind one of the bumpers. Or the hell, if Baby Park threw caution to the wind and gave the item boxes there a higher chance to spawn stuff like lightning, bullet bills, and blue shells. Oh, Biff is cooking now. Cool it's true. save the most boring track in the game. N64 Frappy Snowland is not what I expected to be my favorite. I'm taking off the glasses for this one. I'm taking off the glasses. I need to, I need to see this with my own eye. Be, be nice, guys. We're, we're being nice today, okay? Retro in the game. I think I might just have a soft spot for Mario Kart 64 snow levels. Uh, you think? Jesus. I don't even know why. I haven't played that game yet. Much like Sherbert Land on the Wii, this one admittedly doesn't have much to it. There are more turns here, but it's still a fairly simple course. But I don't know. I've always found winter to be one of the prettier seasons, and a clear dark blue sky with light snow is an aesthetic I can absolutely get behind. The snow sculptures in the background are a cute addition as well. I love the music here, just like with Sherbert like, Land. You, you would think Biff lives in, like, fucking Aruba, like somewhere it never fucking snows, with how much he's simping for snow aesthetics, you know? <laughs> you live in England, mate! You live in the same fucking archipelago as me! You know how this fucking works! 
When it's snow, yeah, it looks cool to look at for like a day. But they deal with the slush, the trains are delayed. What the? What about this? Is giving you a? I don't know. Biff, I can't believe this. I can't believe this. The I can't believe this, Biff. Hazards, which set it apart from the penguins in that other course. They're maybe a little too punishing if you hit them, but they're not too tough to avoid. So I feel that balances it out. The only part that kind of starts to lose me is near the end with the giant snow walls, which are cool at first, but become visually repetitive after not too long. Biff claustrophobia confirmed. Other than that, I surprisingly Bridge. love this one. As someone who's never played Luigi's Mansion, I still love the track based around it. The Boston name is Boston. a little misleading though, since you're barely in the titular mansion. You drive straight in, make a few 90 degree turns, and drive straight out. The majority of the track takes place in the Nightmare Garden outside, which is a little bit disappointing. Still, while they could have done more with the mansion theme, best, I love this one, like I said. The windy entrance and the spiral I don't remember, inside actually. of the mansion are really cool, as is the table forcing a brief split in the path. The muddy area outside is handled significantly significantly better than Choco Island 2, since they give you more brief patches and- And as I mentioned motion. before, I, as a kid, I always thought it was blood. So take that what you for what you will. Drive on at the cost of the path not being as optimal. I like that. I also like the creepy trees wandering. Couldn't be as well. And the music is fittingly slow. High B, this high though? I don't Luigi's think Mansion I did, but people have played this game. It's good. It's definitely a beat track. Like high B though. Like what's cool. it over Sky Garden as well? Like we had it, this over Sky Garden? Mm, I don't think I did that. Like I said, I do still get a lot out of this one. It's just not quite one of my favorites. I'm so glad Delfino Square got to come right back in Wii. It's great in that game. Delfino and it's Square. It's basically identical across both versions. Delfino I mean, Square version mentioned. It's slightly better for one very simple reason. <laughs> Fucking love but Delfino I think Square. I've that general point across by now. This track absolutely slaps regardless. Such a charming theme and lively atmosphere with it incredibly is, isn't cozy it? and fun music. It's pretty simple for the most part, but it does have a good amount of shortcuts and branching paths. The are so fun on this map. I don't know why they put so many, but I'm glad they did. They need to get this track designer like added. When, so one thing that some people would, I would say uh, justifiably criticize me on is that I don't generally don't tend to take shortcuts into consideration. But like when you when I used to play Mario Kart with like cool shortcuts like music. this, it's pretty simple for the most part. But it does have a good like, amount of shortcuts. This shortcut is just like really cool. Like it's like you're on a site. You could not only does it like fit the theme of the stage, like Delfino Square. Like this feels like an alleyway in like a town, you know. But but like it's just like you need a mushroom to get through it, so there's a bit of extra like preparation you have to make. You get the other other what's the other one? I don't know if he shows it. You know, like the this bridge here, you can like drive ahead of it. Like it, it's just like this the old Mario Kart used to be so intricate with the shortcuts. So that's why like when I'm talking about like seven or eight, I barely mention them because they're just kind of like, oh hey, you know we have a U-bend? There's like a mud part here, so you can kind of like drift a bit more inwardly. It's like, oh yeah, what what a cool shortcut. I can take a mushroom and cut a bit inwardly. Wow. I wonder if they're gonna do that for like seven stages. I think they do it in like figure eight circuit, they do it in electrodrome, uh they do it so like I can't figure them off the top of my head, but they do it so many times I'm just like, is that what you consider a shortcut? That doesn't make or break a track for me. It's just kind of there, you know? Like these kinds of shortcuts will be like, hey, this could make him maybe make it go up a tier. Do you get what I mean? But yeah, something that I get told quite uh, often. And when I've played Mario Karts like this, it's hard for me to take modern Mario Kart shortcuts seriously, if I'm being honest. Incredibly cozy and fun music. It's pretty simple for the most part, but it does have a good amount of shortcuts. It's just grass cuts now, and I'm just like, it's explore. cool, but... Bumping can be a pain in the building section, sure. And maybe this isn't quite the most interesting thing you could have done <laughs> oh, that's with mud in the alleyway, shut up. <laughs> sunshine themed location. But I don't care, man. This course is so good, and I love it to pieces. It's just on you the should have checked, like, the, the street sign. It's, a, it's called Shit Street, you know? This one. But there were some tracks that managed to quite solidly place in that tier. So let's go over them, shall we? Well, after a quick detour. Battle modes. Um, oh, hang on. Wait, hang on. Which, so let's just quickly have a look at this. Cover Wii's battle I normally skip the battle mode section because battle DS mode is just fun with friends and that's kind of it. But one. and this is probably one. I mean, of the DS's one was kind of lit though, right? You get to blow into the mic to give yourself more balloons, but the more balloons you have, the lesser good items you'll get. Bro. Better battle modes in terms of freedom. It was free nice. You can change the amount of total wins or games in a session, unlike in seven. You can toggle teams, unlike in Wii, and you can have fun with a control scheme that isn't annoying, unlike in. Well, so it's it's Plaza, Plaza, right? He put Plaza at the well. top, right? I just want to know if he put. Wait, put Plaza. Plaza. Turns to use to make your get. Up. Plaza, Plaza, right? No, I stopped the whole beginning video again. Right. This is a nice pre. It's, it's Pipe Plaza, yeah, it's Pipe Plaza. Arena, but it's the pipes that teleport you between the floors that really make this Pipe Plaza one. mentioned. Not much else to say, it's a banger. Okay, back to what you actually clicked on the video to see now. Hey, I adore the DS Rainbow Roads. It's not quite top three in the game like I initially expected. It doesn't really stand on the same pedestal as am I, on, am I? Who's on the right side of history, guys? Are you a DS Rainbow Road truther or a denier? Um, it's just the definition of... 
rainbow road designed by Kanissi, you know, it's it like there's nothing it does particularly wrong, but it does nothing remotely interesting. Now you might you might say to me, the loop de loops the loop de loops don't really change anything gameplay wise. Yeah, if you get hit on them, you fly up, but I never really saw that as an interesting factor in every single time I played it to be noteworthy enough to mention, you know? I don't know, I just kind of I don't know. It's pretty good. It's just a crunch down GC and you think it's B tier my honest reaction. Well, it's it's a road that is rainbow. Yeah, pretty much. Honestly, it's just it's just a rain. It's dev it's a rainbow road. It does its function name wise. It's a it's a rainbow road. You know? Seven's version of the track, and even some other versions of Rainbow Road that I haven't played recently or ever look. More and also, right. just to clarify, as always, I like the Rainbow Road. If you like it, nothing. Hey, I respect it. I don't though. <laughs> Remember, when I say something is mid, it's not to take away your enjoyment. I'm just saying it as is. You're here for my this take after all. comparison is a bit standard with not as much to really set itself apart. But a standard yeah. Rainbow Road is still pretty excellent in its own right. It's one of the more difficult tracks in the game, and it never feels unfair in that. It's got plenty of tricky turns, including this cool spiral at the start with all the boost pads. I mean, I guess he's not technically wrong when he... Hang on. Let me let me hear the point again. I want to hear him say that again. Rainbow Road is still pretty... ...is a bit standard with not as much to really set itself apart. But a standard Rainbow Road is still pretty excellent in its own right. Right. It's one of the more difficult tracks in the game, and it never feels unfair in that. It's got I, I suppose not, but I think um, Rainbow Road is one of those rare stages where I think you kind of can't help but compare it to its contemporaries. So when you have a Rainbow Road, you're kind of hoping there's at least like it's like with Bowser Castle, right? You could have a if Mario Kart Nine or X, whatever it's called, right, has a Bowser Castle, but it doesn't really have like a standout set piece or a standout game. It's just like a really well designed race track. I think it will be. I could definitely see people going. I don't know, it's not really one of the good ones. Because I think when it comes to Bowser Castle, I think we're all kind of designed to think, okay, there has to be like a set piece. Like usually it's the Bowser punching, the Bowser spitting fireballs, but like there's a Bowser statue doing something, right? So even if the track could be well designed, I feel like there has to be like a set piece, a grand like thing that has it, that kind of links it together, you know? With Rainbow Road, I think it's the same way. Like in, in the Wii one, you kind of have like the galaxy theming adds quite a lot to it. In seven, like you have this spectacle of traveling on a planetary journey. Uh, H1 is like, it's space station themed it might not be that good but it's still got a theme to it rainbow road like the n64 remake uh in eight has this like grand adventure with like the train and like you feel like you're it almost feels like a, a finale to your journey as opposed to going on one so but what does ds have like has loop-de-loops that do nothing to really influence the gameplay too much you know Plenty of tricky turns, including this cool spiral at the start. So I guess, like, as this track is one standout aspect of this iteration is the pair of anti-gravity loops, clearly foreshadowing that mechanic in eight. The visuals are also clearly. gorgeous, and the music is pretty, which is to be expected for a Rainbow Roads. But again, it's far from my favorite in either of those aspects. Overall, though, a more than fulfilling end to the Nitro courses. Mm. Previously mentioned tracks are going to play into people's nostalgia for Mario Sunshine and Luigi's Mansion, but the game I'm nostalgic for that they lean into is Super Mario 64. I love TikTok. True. Man. Such a fun callback to another great game with a lot Normally, of generally, I prefer when Mario Kart does entirely original themes and doesn't borrow from other games. I really love it when Mario Kart does that more. But I think TikTok Clock, I think t even though it's a clearly a reference to Super Mario 64, I, I I think there's like, for me, in my brain, it's like TikTok Clock, the Super Mario 64 stage, and then it's TikTok Clock, the Mario Kart stage, you know? You know? Creativity and variety. The pendulum swing. I feel like both of them just like have such a distinct identity despite being based upon each other. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Multiple points that can increase or decrease your speed. The first set is something you have to position yourself correctly for, and the second set comes at the very end of a lap and is completely optional. Starting in the you one true. last burst of speed if you can aim for the right gear and not fall off. This is the closest we're going to get to the mushroom bread shortcut unless it comes back in eight deluxe. I hope it does. The 64 level music made me happy as well. Between this and Throwback Galaxy, I think I just love. 64 callbacks the ds all right zek I'm, I'm just letting you know now zek i have i have just dm'd uh, my guy in russia he has sent a cruise missile to your house you have about i would say based on the time and trajectory about 23 minutes uh, to grab what you can and dip so uh, just letting just letting you know just letting you know Bowser's Castle stands tall as one of my favorite Bowser's Castles in the series. It's not quite as crazy as some of the later ones, but it's still amazing in its own right. Lots of sharp turns, swamps, and fire hazards are standard affair for this series staple, but this entry also has a branching path depending on whether you want to fight the conveyor belt or take a longer route. This cool spiral- I thought this, um, I don't, <laughs> I don't remember where I put it in my original tier list, but I think this Bowser Castle has like a, a couple of cool things, but it's otherwise quite, <clears throat> excuse me, on the underwhelming side, I would say. 
Like it has that cool shogun, it has like like that that spinny rope th like that, that that what's it that spinning thing, gear thing. And that's kind of it, if I'm being honest. And a bunch of shifting platforms. I feel like it could Those it could definitely make for a good remake. I think that's good potential for a good remake. The scheme of the series, but still pretty fun. Then the developers threw this hellish contraption in, and that shot it up in the rankings considerably. I love this twisty cylindrical platform and how it changes directions constantly. You need to pay attention to where it's going and keep your balance. All while praying you don't, you don't get Zach, hit by an You're item. done, mate. You're because done. Because dropping <laughs> off of this doesn't get Lakitu to send you back to the start of it. Instead, it forces you to take the walk of shame down a longer path, while everyone who stayed on gets ahead of you. That that is evil and i love it i love Once it too again, i think that's probably one of the best things garden's got priority to be brought straight back for the next game because it's amazing this one is so pleasant Pretty you, much love, every you love Pe you love you love you love peach god you know you, you know how this goes you know the rules and so do I. We love Peach Gardens. We love Peach Gardens. Good thing I said about Delfino Square is amplified here. The garden theme is so charming. The music is lovely. There's an even greater amount of autumn and fast and short. It's such a charming track, mushrooms. honestly. It's just so solid. It the is. The music comes is probably my favorite of any track I've seen feature them. Not just with the ones with risky item boxes, but even the one at the start that you have to swerve around depending on when it is you arrive there. There is a lot more going on throughout this course than you'd initially expect from its cutesy presentation. Despite a lack of real difference, Difficulty. Hang on, hang on. Peach Gardens is a bit flat. Okay, here we go, gamers. Um, let me. I'm gonna take. Let's 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 make Peach Gardens. Should we? Should, hang on. Let me let me let me change this for you. Let's take Peach Gardens and just like. Let me do something. Hang on. I'm gonna make Peach Gardens the best track in the game for you. Okay. I'm gonna make. Pe I'm gonna turn Peach Gardens. Give me one second. I'm gonna turn Peach Gardens into the best track in the game for you. So I'm gonna get an image of Peach Gardens. Okay, hang on. I need, to, I, need to, I need I need an image example for this. So I'm gonna take an image of Peach Gardens. Right? I'm gonna take an image. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna save I'm gonna save it. Hang on. How do I do this? We're gonna we're gonna quickly make turn Peach Gardens into the best track in the game real quick. So I'm gonna. Oh, this doesn't work. All right. The Joe Cole's gonna <laughs> the Joe Cole's gonna do is I was gonna take an image of the TS and just put it through a 3D filter. Add some elevation, and then, but my my apps are broken. So, uh, but what, what I'm trying to say is that a track being flat isn't necessarily bad. Also, look at this. You said it's flat. It there's a there's a ramp up here. What are you talking about? Also, yeah, a track being flat isn't necessarily bad. Like I see this criticism uh, quite often when people say a track is bad. That is because it's flat. I don't necessarily think flatness is a. It can be a detriment, but it doesn't. It isn't always like you just saying a track is flat isn't like oh I get why you hate it. I'm just like so you gotta like elaborate, you know. Totally earns its place as part of the special cup, a mainstay of the series. And also, yeah, it's a garden, like it's a garden. Like what was it supposed to be? Like yeah, flat doesn't equal bad. Like what's something you would say? Um, ooh, for example, like it's like you know how I said with Bowser Castle, Bowser Castle not having like a giant Bowser set piece. You could say that as your reason for it to be bad. I'd say that's fair enough. Pe like, but for this? For flatness? I don't think that same crit critique works. Like, as long as it's interesting. Yeah, that's what I mean, yeah. You know, not every track has to be, like, big and bombastic. If it's big and bombastic, it kind of ruins the track, the, you know, the simpler tracks, you know? And the absolute peak of this... It's a bit like, um, I would, the perfect example I'd give is that I said that Ninja Hideaway is a good track, but there should only ever be about two or three Ninja Hideaway style tracks in, in the future Mario Kart game, because I think having a track that intricate and having too many of them will take away the flair that Ninja Hideaway has. So if you're going to do a track like Ninja Hideaway in the next Mario Kart game, I think you should only have like one or two, maybe three at most, to have all those like di like diversing alternate paths, because you need to like mix it up, you know? You can't just have every track be like a complicated like complicated like labyrinthine track otherwise it kind of ruins the vibe you know let's line up what's that still? obviously airship fortress airship fortress oh my between beauty a and S -tier if we airship fortress mentions so it was kind of way more favorable to cars with better drifting stats. I'm that excited to see what number one is, though. Mario this is Kart, number two. What's this number one? The way it felt like it would force bonking and staying in the outside lane just wasn't very fun to me. Then I timed trailed it a few times and found the counter place, so I guess I just needed to get good. <laughs> I, was about to, <laughs> I was about to say, I think you should probably get good but uh, you know exactly why this track is so beloved to the point of being a fan favorite the mm -hmm. music and atmosphere feel just as oppressive and sinister as a bowser's castle track but it still manages also i know there's one of you you expose yourself i know there's one of you guys i know there's one of you guys i wonder i wonder who that one person is oh the purple skybox is overrated musty it's overrated 
purple skybox for the win, all right? I don't like this fucking orange one they gave you in like the tour remake. Like, give me my purple skybox, you fuck. Give me my Thanos skybox, all right? Place in the castle, you better not fucking ruin like it. an adventure as you infiltrate a ship during one of Bowser's assaults, dodging Banzai Bells and Rocky Wrenches as you board the deck, taking sharp turns into the brig where you dodge these fire streams, then you your wrenches as you board the deck, taking sharp turns into the brig where you dodge... I don't, uh, seller, I don't know ship terms. Well, you know, you, you just kind of expose yourself, Biff, you know? I wouldn't have known you said something wrong, but you expose yourself. You expose yourself, Biff. What shit? What good to Google, right? He, how did he not know this shit? Listen, oh, but I, even I knew that, and I'm an idiot, Biff! Come on. You, how did you not, did you skip nautical Wednesdays in primary school? Oh, you... <laughs> <laughs> Too busy smoking that way, huh? You silly goose. So you dodge these fire screens, then you yourself become the projectile that gets shot out of the ship's cannon into this damaged building. That's so cool and creative. Then you have the spiral, like I mentioned before, which has grown on me a lot. It's a great end to an exhilarating race. It stands as one of my favorite courses in the series, and its reputation is absolutely deserved. Yep. Please bring it back in 8 Deluxe. Oh, yep. What world does Mario Circuit deserve priority over this? Listen, listen, we, yeah, we, we, we had that debate, okay? I'm, I'm still upset about that, but... One is. I'm not really shocked that Waluigi Pimbo managed to take the top spot. If anything, I'm more surprised the Airship Fortress oh managed God. to give it some solid competition. This is far from the most complex Waluigi. course out there with no major shortcuts or anything like that. All things considered... I'm so shocked. I'm so shocked. Pretty linear. I mean, you can go around and behind the bumpers and set a straight past them, but also, why would you ever do that? Okay. <laughs> So okay, one of my favorite things. I just want to. Uh, I want to. I'm, I'm calling you out in the chat. You know who you are. I'm going to call you out in a second. One of my favorite thing. One of my favorite kinds of comments to get. I say favorite. Obviously, I mean I don't really like this. Favorite kinds of comments to get is when people say, "Oh, Misty, that was a basic take," and I'm just like, Ooh. "That was a basic take, Musty. You put Wee Rainbow Road at the top. That's a basic take." <laughs> Because it's, there's a reason why it's the top of everyone's tier list, because it's amazing. So, uh, Horatio, I'm calling you out, Horatio. Basic ass thing. Yeah, of course. What? Oh, Biff. For the crime of putting a top three track in the top three, you are being sentenced to the gulag. Get out of here, bro. What are you, what are you brother's waffling. No, this track isn't Blood is waffling. Get out of here. History because you have to put particularly much thought into the route you're going to take to win. It's as beloved as it is because it's just that fun and atmospheric. I always had a it's just a, it's a fun track. The only the only take I'll give the haters I, I forgot. Sorry, the sleeper agents have woken up. I forgot my bad. But yeah, does the track not have any shortcuts? Sure, I don't care though. So it's no wonder this track works don't as care. well as it does for me on a conceptual level alone. But it's also down to how creatively it uses its theme. Having the giant pinballs pose as obstacles you have to avoid going down the track, then having to dodge around them in the bumpers in the actual pinball machine section. This track is popular so for bad. The bulk of the course has plenty of twists and turns. I do think it's really, really weird when people do that because I'm just like, I say weird, but I, I used to be like this too when I was younger, so I can't, I'm, I'm not going to be like too mean about it. But yeah, if you're gonna if you're gonna hate something for being popular, at least hate it for other reason other than being popular. But if you if you're gonna if you hate something being popular, that's the part you're not supposed to say out loud. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? You're supposed to keep that inside and come up with another reason as to why you hate it that you tell the world. That way, people will actually take you seriously. Because if someone says I hate something because it's popular, I'm just like, well, your whole personality is because you're being contrarian. Your your whole personality is con being contrarian, and it's like it's fun sometimes to be contrarian. It is really fun, but if for your whole personality, come on, bro. You engage all the way no. through, coupled with the unique sound effects for the item roulette and booster pads to make it even more unique and immersive. They even have a special. It's like if you're gonna hate you something everyone likes, at least have a reason. You know? Like I hate Ice World. I have a reason why That's I hate Ice World. Nice touch that they didn't need. Oh, did you mention the thing, Biff? I'm sorry, I wasn't Biff. I'm sorry, I'm just rambling, Biff. Did you mention the thing? Make it even more unique and immersive. I think you mentioned they the thing. They even have a special sound effect when you go past the bumpers, as if you yourself were a pinball that just fell out of the bottom of the you game. You mentioned the thing. I love it. Oh yes, you noticed it too. I, that is that is one of the most that is one of the best standout bits of theming i've seen in any single like in so many tracks easily one of the like tiniest elements that just adds so much to the theming i fucking love it it's so good That's i'm glad you mentioned nice that, touch that they didn't need to it add, really is anyway. honestly i love it presentation as well with all the bright neon colors and one of the best musical themes in all of mario kart this course draws me in from the second it shows the cool tunnel at the start and my attention never wavers for the rest of the round i understand if you consider this course overrated or whatever think what you want but for me i can't go against my gut on this one yep. 
I think the creativity of the theme alone cements Waluigi Pinball as one of my favorite Mario Kart courses. And ever since I first played it, it's been my favorite course in Mario Kart. Don't DS. blame you. Between that and Coconut Mall being some of my favorites before I even knew what YouTube was. Remember, guys, he, his favorite, he said Coconut Mall is a popular track, guys. He, the popular was bad. <laughs> Maybe young me had some more right taste in courses, actually. Waluigi Which win is better between the two, though? Well, I'll leave that out for when I cover Mario Kart 7. Until then, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed no this video as much as I, I did enjoy enjoyed it. through this game again and writing. No, I did enjoy it. I had a blast going back to it after so long, and I was happy to see that it still held up as well as I remembered it. It did spawn Desert Hills, though, which might just invalidate every good thing it has going for it. Don't you mean Curry Speedway? <laughs> 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 Overall though, um, I do think if there's one thing I have to say to you, if there's one thing, oh, uh, my, belo my beloved, I have to, if there's one take I have to have a word with him, but it's this, this is just, mid like it's not even that it's 11, but mid B for Sky Garden is one hell of a shout, man. I need to, oh, I need to, if he, I don't know if he's here right now. Um, but I'd love, to, I'd, love to, I'd love to know what his reasoning is. That and the Rainbow Road one. Rainbow Road being this high is a bit, a bit weird, if I'm being honest. A bit weird. But other than that, I don't find too... Like, oh, the, the, what's it? The BC2? He likes BC2. He said B, he likes BC2 over BC3. Which is a bit of a weird, weird one as well. Uh, DK Pass, he's one of like seven people who likes DK Pass. So there were, there, were some, there were some takes I'd love to have a chat with him about, but I don't think he's here right now. But that's, 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 that's all right. But overall, uh, a fun tier list. Very fun. You're more base than you are cringe. We are smoking weed tonight, gamers. We're smoking weed. <laughs> We love dip. We love dip in this house. We stand between. And that, is that, yeah, I think Biff is the number one enjoyer, honestly. Uh, look, Waluigi Pinball is really good, but I think they could have done more with the saying of the pinball machine. Like, the, um, like only the ending really uses the theme to its max potential, which is sad. See, see that game is look. Cade doesn't like the tr like he doesn't like the track, but he actually came up with a reason. Oh my god. Oh my. He said it's good, but they could have done more. Oh my gosh. Amazing. He's a sleep agent uh, with, you know, actual programming put in, you know? <laughs> uh, right, gamers. That was fun, wasn't it? WK, well done. Well done. I appreciate when people, you know, if you're going to disagree, I'm fine with that. I'm always fine with that. Just give me like a give me like a reason, you know? If you're going to go against the grain, you got to like have some grains to go against, you know? You got you to go grain for grain, band for band, you know? Anyway, gamers, I've got one more list. One more list. Hang on, I've got a. Before we get straight into the next one, uh, I actually have to delete some space because I've run out of hard. My hard drive is completely packed. Luckily, the moment we finished this tier list, my recording ended because it ran, ran out of space. I've got to delete a bunch of stuff. Give me one second. We're going to go to Silo Hawk. I don't know how you say his name. Is that enough? That's enough space. I'm gonna delete some more stuff. Hang on, give me a second. There's not enough space? Oh, really? God, I'm running out. I need to buy some external. I'm gonna tell my fiance to get me some external hard drives for Christmas. Because uh, I'm have i completely out, mate. I'm finished. I am finished. All right, let's move this over here. I've got like four hard drives, and now I think they finally decided to give up on me. I was upset when you guys. I was so upset when you guys said you hate this track, this 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 music. It's great. Come on. What do you mean? It's great. Hot take. Deacon man is moon. Um, it's mid. Uh, I don't necessarily disagree. <laughs> The music's just good. I think one thing I really do like about the music is that it hits the theme very, 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 very well. Uh, but as a track, though, I can definitely understand why you don't like it. I think, do you know what it is? Um, this is like when people say they really like N64 Battles of Castles music. Uh, for me, I'm just like, does it fit the theme? Yeah, but it doesn't resonate with me personally. Uh, this fits the theme very well, and if it doesn't resonate with you personally, I completely understand it. Um, for me, it's just uh, nostalgia. <laughs> That's entirely different. See, at least I'm honest. At least I'm honest when, it's just, when I'm a nostalgia Andy. I'm gonna be honest. This is like my favorite track in the game. I used to play this drank so much when I was a kid, all right? <laughs> I used to love it. So even though I do agree, like all it does is it sticks to the theming very well. And if you like that, then fair, you're gonna love this. But yeah, it is like, I can see on an objective level, this is a little lame, I'm not gonna lie, it's a little lame. <laughs> 
Especially the flute there. It's such a nice touch. Again, I understand. I understand. I'm not going to fight you on that one, chat. I get it. I'm on the wrong side of history. But I get it. It's, it's, still, it's still nostalgic for me. It's still fun, you know? Right, let's get into... Hopefully that that's enough stuff. Oh, there's not enough space? Hey, yo! I deleted so much stuff! What do you want from me? <laughs> Fuck! Uh, hang on, i got to delete more stuff. Let's keep vibing. Ba -da -ba -da -ba. Dig it? Do you dig it, gamers? Do you dig it? Okay, I'm good now. We're good now, guys. We're good. We're good. I have got the space. We are Gucci. We are ready, gamers. So, gamers. Jesus, look at this. <laughs> if you guys want to know what I'm, what I'm working with right now, hang on, let me show you. I don't want to show my whole hard drive, but this is currently what we're dealing with right now. Unfortunately. This is, this, is the, this is the hard drive situation, gamers. <laughs> Everything is full except one. So I'm having to record in D. And uh, I'll move over later. I'm going to have to do some spring cleaning later. <laughs> Everything is fat packed to the brim. Four hard drives and all of them are full. So yeah, I am literally going to go up to my fiance and say, hey, could you just buy me some, could you buy me an extended hard drive, please? So I can move over and over. I need to do that. But ladies and gamers, ladies and gamers, let's get started with the next tier list of the evening. Gamers, we have a gentleman here whom I'm not too familiar with, but some of you are. His, he goes by the name of Psylocke Hawk. Wow. What, what, what cool and funny name. Does he have a cool and funny tier list to match that cool and funny name? We've got the final... Can I try that again? We've got the final booster course pass review, Mario Kart Deluxe Wave 6 by Psylocke Hawk. And you guys know... The rules, okay? And so do I. Be nice, all right? It's fine if you disagree with them, but just let's keep it, let's keep it, let's keep it chill. It's not material. I mean, he did review it, so I'll see if I agree with his takes or disagree with his takes, you know? Um, uh, so again, it's very divisive. This is quite in I'm interested to see what I think. I watched him, he's someone who backs up with good reason. So, like, <laughs> I've seen a couple of, like, yeah, everyone's just like, you know? Everyone's like half and half. I'm, uh, I'm curious. I really want to watch his. I'm, I'm even. I'm even more curious to watch his stuff right now. So um, let's uh, let's let's start right from the top. Isn't this the guy who's nitpicky as hell? Yes, is it again? Everyone's so divisive. Remember, like I said, you can you can disagree, but be nice. Okay, I'm serious. I'm serious. Be nice. I'm not joking. I will ban you. Anyway, let's start. I don't even know where to start with this. I guess I'll start by saying um, it's good, so you can calm the f down. What? Uh, what? What am I supposed to do with my pitchfork, Psylocke? Oh, come on! I had my pitchfork ready! <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> God damn! Also, he's starting off very heated. Jesus, did... Is he, is he really this crazy? There were people who were mad at me for this video. Can't wait for this guy to whine once with <laughs> six drops. He may like the... He may be like the... They didn't add a nitro in this favor, as if we didn't know the data mines from Wave 6 wouldn't have one. To be honest, if I get a co is this the is this really the worst comment you got? Like I, I'm imagining when he, when he screenshots this comment, he probably got like 700 people saying this, which, which can get annoying. But like I, I just I just don't like my punishment for if you post a comment like this in my chat is you just don't get a heart. I heart almost every comment when someone leaves one. You wouldn't get a heart. You wouldn't get a heart from Sir Musty. There's game more. Before Wave Six was even out, the last time I was pretty critical about wave 5 and some of y'all well there were people who respectfully disagreed bless your hearts but then there was a reddit oh shit reddit there's a whole reddit thing no hang on let's just see no his video on waves are just nitpicks and whining about the graphics he doesn't even talk about the tracks 100 because people already know them despite being a review on the wave he also just gives us a bad but bad vibe oh my god <laughs> that's like that's like some of the most that's like the use the most useless criticism you can get like you have a bad vibe what am i supposed to what is that like? Are you, are you, is it just some black? <laughs> that's such a weird comment. That's such a weird thing to say to someone. Like this is fine if you said he doesn't review it. Like that's fair, but like bad vibe. That's weird. That's a weird thing to say. And it's weird, very. Some um, someone responded with controversial criticism about the video, and his response was shitty and sarcastic. <laughs> Don't show this guy my stream. Don't show this guy my stream. <laughs> you would absolutely hate so mercy. Jesus Christ. Um, if you did a review video, you should be reviewing the entire thing, not just what you feel like reviewing. That's not giving the entire uh, wave game justice, and it's very one sided. I think 
it's okay if you just want to review one thing. I think you just have to be very specific. So ideally in this video, if Silent Hawk say, for example, I think if, the, if this comment is correct in that he mainly talks about certain things, I think you should make sure right off the rip, hey, I'm mainly going to talk about this thing. And then he's fine, really. Like, I think for most, uh, for the most part, if you're going to title something review, people as a whole expect you to review the whole thing. So if you're not going to review the whole thing, I think you should specify it. So as long as you have, then this comment is just complete nonsense and I fucking hate this. <laughs> Reddit will be after you shortly. I, bro, I listen, man. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get to 10k, you know, otherwise my landlord's going to eat me, okay? All right, bring them on, all right? Come on, come on in. Come on in, there's room for all of you, all right? There's room for all of you. Uh, he's also petty and angry with the smallest things. When he go Don't show this guy my Donut Plains 3 take. Don't show this guy my Donut Plains 3 take. <laughs> God, these people are weird, aren't they? Uh, he complains about Athens' dash section because he bumped off the course, bumping into a ward weirdly. Oh, if if that was his experience with the track, then that was his experience with the track. What, you, what is he supposed to say? <laughs> this is so weird. These people are weird, honestly. These are actually a little weird. He legit said that gaining access to the pool with Daisy Corsa wasn't a good change because it removed difficulty. Uh, don't show my take. Uh, because God forbid a track have a bit more of a variety than its original. That's a fair take. That's my take. I don't really like that. I think that being going into the pool kind of removed a bit of difficulty. I wasn't a fan of that neither. That's just his take. You can disagree with him. That's fine. Just move on. <laughs> if someone in my chat right now said, no, Musty, I actually think the, the pool is a good addition. I'd be like, okay. I'm glad, I'm happy. I'm happy that you like it. I just don't. There's nothing wrong with that. We can disagree and just move on with our life. Uh, I'm pretty sure you added the flow. Yeah, these people, these people are wag. You know what, Silo Cork, I'm on your side. I'm on your side. Yeah, I'm not going to lie so to you. I'm so mad they had a nervous breakdown. I don't think you should, I personally don't think you should give these people the time of day, but yeah, there they are unhinged. I'm screaming about my toxicity. So having the wrong Mario Kart opinion? Fuck you, you're so toxic. Creating an echo chamber? So I have. I'm not big enough to have gotten people saying, oh, geez, there's loads of comments here. Um, I haven't gotten big enough for people to call me toxic. So, you know, I'm not there yet. I'm going to be there soon, hopefully. Hopefully. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't, guys. Come on. Give me some love, all right? Give me some love. You go into vivid detail about why you hate You gave the attention they wanted. Yeah, see, I think that, that's the part I disagree with. Like, these people are unhinged, but... I could never see myself making this part of my video. I, I just, because the way I, I do this on purpose, I do this very, very much on purpose. Whenever I bring up a criticism that someone has as me, I make sure it's valid. I 100% always make sure it's valid. If I'm going to give someone the type of time and attention in a video, I at least want them to know that their comment was one, in good faith, and two, legitimate. If it's not, I'm not going to give you any attention. There's a reason why, like, in my videos, you'll never see a, a single time where I've said, oh, man, like, could you see this one unhinged comment? Oh, I'm just like, because I don't want to give the attention i just don't think it's worth it if you're gonna come at it from a good faith position then sure this is a decent chunk of the video is it <laughs> okay i'll skip it if it gets boring okay video game reviewer well that ain't toxic that's what anyone who has the wrong video game opinion basically deserves <laughs> These people are weird. The saddest part is that the audience eats it all up, agreeing with him most of the time, despite his pay arguments and nonsense. Like, maybe, shocker, I don't know, guys, maybe, shocker, maybe they just agree with him. No, ain't no way, brother man, ain't no way. <laughs> maybe you guys are the bad guys. I am ashamed I used to be one of the people. Luckily, I figured out the truth. Oh my, listen, I'm just gonna be honest, guys. I'm gonna be honest. If you don't like my takes, just just go, okay? You don't have to, don't, at least don't be this cringe. If you're gonna unsubscribe for me, you know, that's unfortunate. I'm glad you enjoyed your stay. Have a good rest of your life. Just don't be this cringe. For the love of God, don't post cringe on main. Please don't. <laughs> <laughs> Take notes, kids. I know people are mad when they start bringing up that Pokemon video I did nearly 10 years ago. I think we've all gotten mad. Uh, it it okay, it depends. What was the Pokemon video? It depends. I might I disagree. I might agree. But how do you hold hatred? Top 20 Pokemon that shouldn't exist. Hang on. Hold up. Hold up. Hang on. Hold up. I'm going to start making some Pokemon content soon, so I hope you guys are ready for that, all right? Hold up. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Oh, yeah, he actually is a hawk. Hang on, hang on. Let's, let's, just, let's just skim ahead a little. What's Pokemon number... Uh, excuse me! Ex hang on, hold up. Hold up. Where's the siren? There's the siren. Hang on, hang on. Excuse moi. Did I just see one of the, like, chapters? It says Togekiss? Excuse moi. Excuse me, Spoink based Chandelier. The Genies, uh, I suppose. Warm Damp, I'm guessing that's Wormer Dam uh, based. Clink Clang, mm, I get it. Bidoof, true! Actually, true. Fuck Bidoof. I've been seeing a lot of you guys, I've been seeing a lot of Bidoof AstroTurfing coming up. Fuck Bidoof, bruv. Beedrill. 
Nope. Tangrove Shrew. Amo Among Us? <laughs> Alright, you know what? I agree with Reddit. Fuck it. Fuck Psylocke Hawk. Fuck. fuck. No, we're not smoking weed. Fuck Psylocke Hawk. <laughs> fuck Psylocke Hawk. <laughs> fuck this guy. <laughs> fuck you, bro. Your heart over a YouTube video you watched nearly 10 years ago. I don't even remember who I was 10 years ago. All this to say, if you disagree with anything, I'd say. Although, if I was to give you some personal advice. <laughs> I would say if there's a video that you no longer agree with, I would just. I know. Okay. To be fair, hang on. Where is it? Where's the video? It's got four. Uh, you know. I, I. The only reason you're keeping this up is because it gives. You know. But if you're genuinely that annoyed about people referring to that video, I would just say private and say, hey, my opinions have changed, you know? That ever, you um, are more the than the money's nice, though, I imagine. Hey? You don't gotta go, hey, does anyone else hate this guy? To validate. Uh, you know, I'm a bit bored now, so let's, uh, let's, let's skip ahead. Let's skip ahead to when he actually. Uh, Talks about stuff. Uh, we get it. Reddit is cringe. Let's keep moving. This is the part where we're going to start talking about the tracks, and I might as well give a disclaimer that I will be talking about the presentation at parts, which seems to be a huge point of contention for a lot of people. Sorry to delay the Wave 6 review itself, but this is something I do want to talk about, especially if this is the last time I'm going to be talking about the booster pass. I've seen a lot of comments claiming graphics are the only thing I talk about. It made me curious what percentage of the video I focused on it. Okay. Um, when it comes to graphics, I'm gonna be honest, okay, this is my take when it comes to, there's a reason why like, I, if you notice in my wave videos, I don't really mention the graphics. And so I think it's my general opinion on it is, is it annoying that the graphics and the BCP don't match the base game? Yes, but I feel like that conversation is kind of set sail. Do you get what I mean? I think in wave one, when wave one came out, I think that was a big point of contention. It was rightfully uh, like lambasted for having poor graphics. But I think right now, like in waves five and six, if you're still talking about the graphics, I think it can get a bit, tiresome because we've already had that conversation right if this is if this is what you want to review then fair enough it's your video i suppose but uh i think for the most part i think we're kind of just if we're playing mario kart still into this day we've kind of just accepted the fact that okay yeah the graphics just don't hit the same we've kind of all just accepted that and we've moved on you know do you get what i mean so i can see why people would be a bit annoyed about that but at the same time if you make that you're making it clear right off the rip so i don't know how people can be too annoyed if you're if you're making it clear hey i'm gonna be talking about the graphics a lot then yeah, people getting annoyed is a bit, it's a bit weird. So I took a look at my previous wave review and noted all the timestamps where I talk about textures, models, even little. Okay. <laughs> is, is this guy really, is he really doing this? So you don't, you could just, just tell him to piss off. Bro, you're, you're, being, you're <laughs> well, I was, you know, I was really expecting him to say, hey, I'm gonna talk about presentation. Some people annoyed at me, but, and they just move on. <laughs> That's what I would do. Are you kidding me? Don't give these people the time of day. Let's move on. Like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna skip ahead, brother man. I'm not, I'm not gonna give them the time of day for Watch you. This video. Enough of that. Let's jump into our first track, Romavanti. Continuing the trend of opening with a tour track. This is another city track. Once I have heard it correctly. His wave one was filled with uh, that, with no real heads up. Yeah, I could understand. I could genuinely understand uh, people getting annoyed at him constantly bringing up the graphics without a disclaimer. But since he's mentioned a disclaimer, I personally can't get too annoyed at him for mentioning graphics. You know. To again maintain the gimmick of having all three laps follow different routing. In regards to layout, there isn't a whole lot here that we haven't already seen in the previous Most of his Assassin six was great. Yeah, okay. I could see that being annoying. And I think, yeah, as I said, Psylocke, you gotta make that clear, brother. You gotta make that clear. It would probably be that complete three I would be annoyed. turn around the Coliseum you know? and that bridge of the chain jobs. Beyond that, it's your standard city affair that seems pretty interchangeable with the others we've seen in this DLC. That doesn't necessarily make it bad. It's a fun enough race. Just forgettable as all. Well. Yeah, I, I think that's pretty much my take on Rome as well. It's just if this was in wave two, I think it would have gotten a bit more plaudits from the community, but yeah, uh, this is just, yeah, I, wave six. Nah. We'll say this is another tour track where it feels as if they designed a city first and then decided on the routing after the fact. Is anyone who like really likes us? I mean, even Pokemon Miguel, but on 200, my favorite some of Pokemon these man. feel like they come out of nowhere as you aimlessly follow walls of red arrows. Visually, it's actually not too bad. Stuff like the greenery still looks pretty rough, but the stone textures in particular are really nice. Specifically, the brick texture you're driving on and the specular on them that allows the streets to be painted with this orange haze from all the street lights. Yeah, it does look nice. a great effect. The building textures feel a bit flat, but to be honest, if they just scaled everything down. Down to its proper size, you know, so the doors aren't like four times bigger. <laughs> I actually never noticed that. It just goes through how little I pay attention to the graphics. I didn't notice the the doors were comically large. <laughs> That's actually pretty funny. And the racers. That's it pretty funny. Fun. Obviously, the smaller a model or texture is, the more high def it's going to look. And I think I'm just now starting to realize that's that very, that's very weird. Tracks, now that I'm yeah. seeing that, I'm just like, yeah, that's actually very, very weird. <laughs> Remember, stunning looks decent. The pathing is jank. Yeah, a little bit. Just feels underwhelming. Yeah. 
Uh, genuinely a really fun show. Oh, I'm glad you think so. The trade looks great, but the gameplay's mid. They just scaled the buildings down. So overall, I would say, you know, uh -huh. we're on the right side of history. Currently, yeah, would probably be fine. It really does look like they modeled something of the intention that it'd be smaller or viewed from a distance, but then just put it right up to the path you're driving on. And yeah. on a positive note. I mean, that's kind of like a, oh, ending on a positive note. Oh. They finally got water that looks good. Looks fantastic, even. A far cry from what we were seeing in wave one. Overall, this track is a little... Uh, I'm going to correct you there, Psylocke. Um, the in Tokyo Blur, I actually spoke with my uncle who works at Nintendo. Um, I do have an uncle that works at Nintendo. That's actually blue tack. So I hope you know that. It's not actually water, it's blue tack. Because uh, in Tokyo, there's a famous blue tack river. Uh, it's one of the like new, more newer tourist attractions that a lot of people know about. So yeah, it's actually Blue Tech. Wave one. Overall, this track is a little forgettable, but by no means bad. DK Mountain, one of the personal faves by I think everyone. It's great to see this double dash track return. Obviously, this is built off the tour version, but it's remained mostly untouched since even the original GameCube version, which is fine. It's still a great track, and I should give the team credit for making some changes between this and its tour counterparts. They removed some of the railings, added more curvature to the last couple of hairpins. Still no anti grab, unfortunately, and threw in some. DK barrels at certain still points. Answer. This is just a reused asset from DK Jungle, but I'm not against their addition since I think they complement DK Mountain well. Something I should mention since the Mario Kart community has been creaming their panties over this is that you can take a cut here by jumping off this ramp. Cool shortcut, Ooh, but the Oh, I didn't even know that. What? That's such a cool shortcut. Yeah, they're creaming their panties over this. Oh my so you god. Can take a cut here by jumping off this Yo, I wanna, hey, I wanna try this now. I wanna build the game and give it a try. That's actually so cool. I don't think that was in the original, was it? I think it's like because of the way the tour remade it. That's that's dope. I like oh, that. Yeah. Cool shortcut, but the it is. ledge here that even makes this possible was already in the tour version. It's not a change they made for AIDS. The big difference simply being that Mario Kart Tour's engine will automatically constrain you to the track while AIDS will not. Again, it's a cool little skip, don't get me wrong, but the way I've seen it discussed is as if Nintendo put in all this effort to add a brand new shortcut when that isn't the case. Another thing they didn't was that was the was the nerd emoji pointing up moment really necessary? <laughs> okay, do you know what? Um, maybe yeah, the Reddit is a cringe, but maybe they have a little bit of a point. I feel like that entire argument was like really really pointless. <laughs> like yeah, was it something they added in tour? Sure, but like it's nice that now that we have it in a game that's unconstrained, we couldn't do it in tour, so it's nice that we can do it now. Like, it's like he's like, oh, but it was actually in tour. It's like yeah, but we can do it now. What? What was the point of being a you're such a Debbie Downer, Randy? What the hell? Change for eight. Although Lassen, I Lassen thought they did. Was what do you mean? Here. I gave it credit in my live stream because I thought giving it this twisting effect was cool. It was it cool. Is, but this was in tour. It's not something eight added. The colors are great. The, is the whole video just going to be him doing that. <laughs> like yeah, like I think he's is he going under the assumption um, that. A lot of people watching is okay. Actually, I need to ask you guys. This is actually like, interesting. I should ask you. How many of you guys played tour while the BCP was going on? Uh, just give me like a yes or a yes. I played tour. Or no, I didn't play tour. I'm because I'm very curious. I'm very very curious because the point I'm trying to make is that I feel like a lot, so a mix of no's and yeses. Yes, sort of yes. No, no. So I think the fact that we have like a mix of no and yes lends to my theory. It is a small sample size after all. But for me personally, and I want to see if you guys are like the same as me in that, yeah, I'm aware that Tor exists, but when the track, when a wave comes to the BCP, I've never seen them before. So I'm just like, I'm rating them like as if they're essentially new, if you get what I mean. I'm rating them as if they're their own tracks. I'm not rating them as like, oh, they're in Tor and now they're here. If that makes sense? So I feel like there's a substantial, enough of a chunk of people who think about it like that, where I think assuming that everyone's played it in Tor already is a bit of a misstep, I would say. I think that's... I don't necessarily blame him for making this assumption, but I don't think it's a very safe assumption. I think there's a chunk of people, I would say there's at least maybe like what? 50% uh, of people who've played Tor and are playing the BCP, and there's another group of people who are just playing the BCP and not playing them uh, in Tor. And that's me, that's me personally. So even though you saying this thing was already in Tor, blah, 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 I, like so, I, I've not seen them. And I think there's a lot of people that haven't seen them. I would be shocked if there's pe a lot of people commenting that exact fact. So either way, I, I would say that's a bit, mm, bit of a weird way to design your video. Cause like, again, there's a lot of people here saying, yeah, I'm the same as well, so. I don't know, a bit, bit odd, a bit odd, but it's your video, not mine. The overall art direction still holds strong, although beyond this ridiculously good-looking gravel texture when you lay from the cannon. I mean, seriously, what the f***? The overall presentation is pretty basic. Not bad, mind you. I guess the best way to illustrate that point would be to show a side-by-side -side with DK Jungle from... Yeah, it's, it's, just, it's just night and day, isn't it? <laughs> ...base which would probably be its closest comparison. Again, DK Mountain by no means looks bad. Pretty good, actually, comparatively speaking when talking about the booster. Yeah, I think I think that's, that's the point I'm trying to get at, yeah. I think judging graphics is fair, but criticizing mechanics based on 
and Tor seems less applicable when there isn't much overlap with players. Yeah, if it was like a, a like a 80% overlap, uh, would be fine. But I don't think there's enough of an overlap where you can make this video. So what's an example? Oh, for, I got a perfect example for you. If I was reviewing uh, the new Call of Duty game, right? In the new Call of Duty game, there are a lot of maps in that game that were in an older Call of Duty game, right? But this, the older Call of Duty was like back in 2009, right? 2011. So they're remaking maps from that long ago. So I'm like, I want to talk about them as if you, the viewer, have never played them before because it was that long ago, right? I think that's that'd probably be the best way to go about it, right? If it was a map that came out last year, then fair enough, I can assume you've already played it and you're here to see okay what has changed but i think if you're going to make a video like this you have to like i think it's safer to assume most a good chunk a substantial enough chunk of people myself included and a bunch of you have never played tour or don't really play tour and are going into this like brand new essentially i feel like he's over defending a little bit you just got like just say your piece man just just speak your truth and, and go you know yes, nevertheless i would never mistake this as anything but something that came from tour for me the retro stuff needs to be reimagined either visually or mechanically to keep things fresh and as much as i love dk mountain i don't think this version is doing either i'm yeah. sorry but not marking some of these rocks as out of bounds territory is not reimagining the track dk mountain is is still a ton of fun, which is clearly all that matters for most people. But I wish we would have seen a few more changes, considering this is appearance number four. Uh, I don't even even though like I think uh, I, I think the, even though the way I think he approached his points were incorrect, I think his overall like ending point was correct for me. I wish they kept DK Mountain to put in and the next game, so it would give it a bit more. Circuit. I'm just going to ignore that. One of my absolute favorite circuits. You know what? I'm appearance number four. Daisy Circuit. I'm just going to ignore that. One Oh, is he talking? To, I'm guessing what the the people on the sides. Yeah, don't worry, I ignore them too. I don't really. I can't really say I pay attention if I'm being honest. <laughs> one of my absolute favorite circuit tracks. I'm really glad to see this one. Oh, is he a Daisy Although, Trooper? After giving DK Mountain the cold shoulder, I think Damn. it's only fair to likewise point out this version biggest of Daisy crime. Circuit does not reinvent the wheel in the graphical or mechanical department either. The biggest change since Tour would probably be the sterile shortcut now activates your glider. Holy cow! It's like a brand new track because of this. Presentation-wise, while I wish these bushes looked like bushes and not, I don't know, really glossy clay. Listen, I know you guys have nice ass bush assets from Base Eight. You can reuse. No reason to keep doing this. It's otherwise fine. I mean, it ain't no Moo Moo Meadows, but a sunset track is pretty much always going to be pretty. I do want to draw attention to the musical arrangement, which is absolutely gorgeous. Particularly hey, yo, the true, to the true. of those flutes. Yeah. At least we can agree on that, eh? Mm -hmm. Fantastic soundtrack aside, this is a great track despite the fact that not a ton of effort was put into this particular version. Piranha Plant Cove is a track that is very lacking in Piranha Plants. Luckily for it, that doesn't really matter and it's still a great track. This is a something really- Kind of uh, bringing up the same thing as you can- <laughs> Even though I still think Reddit was cringe, I'm, you know, I'm kind of- I'm kind of- I'm kind of seeing it, I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of seeing it a little. I'm seeing it a little bit. Is it fair to say, not only are you- bringing up graphics, which is a conversation that we kind of had during Waves 1 and 2. But more often than not, I'm playing the track, right? <laughs> like, does Rose in his Ice World look horrible compared to Sherbetland? Sure. But I don't like it because it doesn't really have a gimmick to it. That's why I don't like it, right? And and by the way, um, I just wanted to add a quick addendum when it came to Rose in his Ice World. A lot of people were saying to me, you don't need a mushroom to reach the second half on laps two and three, to which I think that ruins that basically makes my point stronger. I'll, I'll, I'll elaborate when I do my 96 track ranking, but Ooh, I'll sort of bunch of people mention that. Really interesting track location. Again, like many of the other tracks that originated from Tour, all three laps have their own unique pathing, which takes you on a little adventure in and around these islands. The layout is a little basic. As to say, the turns are easy to make and the paths are wide. At the very least, that makes this one fun to play on 200. There's a lot of interesting things to see, but I think the thing that kills the presentation for me is the lighting. The best looking part, and I believe the only part of living piranha plants, is this dirt path on the first lap that's even i mentioned this actually so this is one part of the graphics i actually mentioned um i thought the nighttime theming didn't really work with this track so i think he's easy probably gonna mention that tiki torches palm trees and piantas looks great but then you take what should be the big scenic jump at the track and <laughs> i don't know it looks really flat racing yeah, i don't disagree with that night is such a strong premise that could easily lead to some jaw-dropping shots especially if they played at the moonlight adding some really dramatic contrast but unfortunately they do not the closest they get are okay he actually this is one time where he mentions the graphics but i don't disagree i think is he gonna mention it i think if i'm gonna take if i'm gonna be a psychic i'm gonna guess he's probably gonna mention the fact that he wishes the stage was darker so that the moonlight could light up the track a lot better that would have been really cool but 
Let's see if he does. This, where they have god rays shining through the water. But even those don't illuminate the track as much. I'm psychic, Amos. I'm psychic. I pre watched it. Uh, but yeah, that, that could have been really cool. That could be really striking visually, but. Just yeah. would want them to. They didn't do that. Again, it's a fun track to drive through, especially on 200. But without the saturated colors of the booster course tracks, or the fidelity of base 8, the dull colors and the lack of contrast in the lighting turn what should have been one hell of a spectacle into a drab ride. From I don't disagree with him. Oh my god, he mentioned graphics and I didn't disagree with him. It, it, it's true. Maybe, like, if Parable and Cove comes back for 9, I don't, don't think it will, to be honest. But it, they could easily make the lighting look so much better and give that track a big glow up. Track with no vibrancy to a track full of it. Modern Drive. I like this one. Um, one more time, Mr. Silent. To a drab ride. One more From time. a track with no vibrancy to a track full of it. Modern Drive. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. He, he, we all know, guys. We, we don't know. He could be getting it right, and we could all be getting it wrong. So let's find out, shall we? Pronounce names dot com. Pronounce. Help us. Pronounce names dot com. Help us. Ma help us. Madrid. Madrid. Madrid Drive. Okay. So he's not. He's not secretly the one person with seven million IQ. Got it. <laughs> I like this one. Again, there isn't a whole lot going on here that we haven't already seen in previous Tour City tracks, but that doesn't make it inherently bad. As you'd expect, you got your typical three different routes per lap and two modern drives credits. The track is very clear to follow, even on 200. It's not like a lot of other good ones. tracks where the routing feels aimless. Here, I was never caught off guard, even my first time playing on 200. Visually, there's some interesting stuff to see. You drive through a museum with some surprisingly high quality art, a giant foosball stadium. I don't know what that's about. Do you know what, guys? I'm not gonna lie. I'm on Reddit's side now. I'm on Reddit's side now. I'm on Reddit's side now. <laughs> Tell me you're American without telling me you're American, brother, man. That's only the stadium. That's only the Santiago Bernabeu, the the stadium that's home to the biggest club in world football. What are you talking about? <laughs> I wouldn't expect you to know that, but Foos is a foot. No, he's trolling, guys. He he was trolling. He was trolling. He's trolling so hard right now. You drive through a museum with some surprisingly he's high quality so arts, hard. a giant foosball stadium. I don't know what that's about. And you drive by a sleeping wiggler in the middle of the plaza. The um, that, that, you know, that's so, like, unbelievably dense. I'm assuming he's trolling. It has to be. It has. Imagine, imagine, imagine when I reviewed Amsterdam Drift. I was like, wow, we see these weird flower fields. Um, weird. Uh, <laughs> well, they're, like, fake. Like, I You'd be like, <laughs> you'd be like, he's, he's got to be, he's pulling, he's pulling our chain. He's pulling our chain. A hundred percent he is. We just fell for it, guys. We fell for it. I don't know what it was about it, but I really got a kick out of that. <laughs> it's like, it's just, wait, 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 I've never seen that. Overall, kind of in the same boat as the Rome track, where it's by no means a bad track. Next time, next time I ever watch a Real Madrid game in the Champions League, I'm going to say, oh, they're playing foosball. <laughs> but I really don't know if going to find this one one of their favorites, considering how interchangeable all the pieces. Foosball is the German word for football. I, something I don't, I don't know if he actually I was gonna say I don't think he's German he doesn't sound he could be German you could be right but um, we speak in English and in English we say football <laughs> Rosalina's Ice World while I'm a fan of this map in 3DS it feels like a throwaway here the two yeah. notable changes True, since two yes. are these you know what Silo I'm on your side again fuck the Redos fuck the Redo <laughs> fuck them I'm on your team again I'm on your team again Fuck Rosalina's eyes world. All my homies hate Rosalina's eyes world. That pipes you're honestly going to want to ignore. On 200, it might have been worth taking if it was extended to the right a bit more. But it starts so late, you're Pick more- Pick a side. I am on the side that Silo Hawk makes me on. If he puts me on his side, I'm on his side. If, he's, if he says the wrong opinion, I'm on the other side. Likely just going to hit the wall or the half pipe. And then they actually added a bit of a shortcut here. Like, yeah, he's slandered uh, Madrid, but hey, I'm an Arsenal awesome fan. I don't give a shit about Madrid anyway. Slow down on this snow. A bit odd, since literally right around the shortcut, you'll be driving on snow that does not slow you down. Kind of poorly conveyed. Sort of seems like a beginner's trap. It sure as hell got me the first time through. Oh, that's, this is new. Um, hmm. I don't know if I... I suppose, hang on. A bit odd, since literally right around the shortcut, you'll be driving on snow that does not... I suppose, like, design-wise, yeah, this path does look the same as this path, but I think, logically, if you've played enough Mario Kart, you can intuit the fact that if there's a U-drift that's shorter, it's probably a mushroom. Although, again, the color scheme doesn't help. They should have definitely made this color scheme different. They, they definitely should have done that. Slow you down. Kind of poorly conveyed. Sort of seems like a beginner's trap. He sure as hell got me the first time through. Oh, that's this is new. Yeah, it's definitely a beginner's trap. He's not. He's not wrong on that. 
He's not wrong I on that. Didn't realize I needed a mushroom for that. Until it didn't get me because again, I, I just intuited that it wasn't. But yeah, turn the snow green. Actually true. Jelly Productions. Nice w. Just god awful. Like what the hell was going on here? One thing that made the original so memorable was how deep the colors were. It was really visually striking. Impressively, there was actually more color variants in the original 3DS version, whereas here everything is drowning in blue. I liked the darker shades in the original. Not only did it highlight the track better, but it also made for a more moody atmosphere. Said atmosphere was not only a better compliment to the music, but also Rosalina's character. The girl told a bunch of baby stars a bedtime story about her crying because she was lost in space and would never see her mom again. This is also another- Hey, don't, don't, don't bring up the best Mario game ever made, okay? I still hate you, Sarlacc. Like, I'm still on the- I can't believe you said foosball, okay? Of course, I'm about to switch to the Reddit team, by the way, guys. I'll switch back. In comparison in the form of Sherbert Land. Looking at Sherbert Land's ice cave, like- oh God, it's like night and day, I isn't it? I forgot how stunning <laughs> these ice walls looked. Tons of discrepancy in the lighting, too, that had so much depth. Then back to Ice World. The walls are so flatly shaded by comparison. Not horrible, but at least in regards to Wave 6. This is easily the track that got butchered the hardest. Bowser's Castle 3. All right, now we're getting to the good- Best track ever made, or I'm on Team Reddit forever. I'm not switching teams again. I was impressed with this one before the race even started. Oh, wow. This looks fantastic. This looks really good. In fact, yeah, why don't we start with visuals this time? In brief, this track looks really, really good. The brick textures are super high def and crunchy, and I like the look of the lava flowing down as you race up it. Not a single flat texture or low poly model in sight. Then in terms of layout, this track was translated really well. I can still tell exactly what track it is as it keeps basically the same layout as the original, but it's modernized in a lot of creative ways. Obviously, there's the part of all the ramps we just looked at that is now sloping upwards with the lava, but then there's a stretch near the end that originally had three narrow hallways separated by walls, which this one still has, but now you can drive on top of those dividers. Super cool touch. Also, this remix is sick as hell. Oh, is it? Yes. <laughs> Great music is something that's been pretty consistent since base Mario Kart 8, and this one is one of the best. That electric guitar really sells it. My only two critiques, and they're pretty minor, is one, I wish this turn after all the ramps was at a 90 degree angle to justify the anti-grav. Granted, not a single booster course pass has you driving on walls or ceilings, since most of these are pretty direct ports from Tour. Which I'm gonna be- I'm gonna be honest, Mr. I, I'm gonna be honest, chat. I'm gonna be honest, right? Um... Even though Mario Kart's entire gimmick is anti-grav, I do not give a shit about anti-grav, I'm gonna be honest. Like, as in, if you- like, if a track doesn't have it, I'm not like, I'm just like, okay. Sure. <laughs> like, I think there are some clever uses of anti-grav, 100%, but if a track doesn't have it, I'm just kinda like, Okay. Because <laughs> I don't think they do. I think Antigrav looks cool in terms of like set pieces, but gameplay wise, I don't think they do enough with it. Um, so a track not having it is just kind of like, oh. Okay get into at the end, but it wouldn't have taken that much extra work in this scenario. And two, I wish there was more colors. In base 8 belt. Oh, I mean, to be fair, in comparison, but like they're both, they're both like in different, they're both different Bowser castles, you know? Bowser's Castle, for instance, Mom! there's more contrast in the lighting, which helps certain elements pop better. In Castle 3, the whole screen is just kind of orange. But again, that's a minor critique, because as I said, the texture work here is very well done. Overall, they did a great job of this one. Oh, what do you mean? Like, it's, yeah, it's orange, it's, that's Bowser's color. Like, what do you mean? He did say it was a minor critique, to be fair, but come on. Easily one of my favorites come of on. the entire He's, he's orange, pass. that's his Last, color. Certainly not least is red. Oh, I can't, oh, I can't wait from <laughs> is he gonna do it? Is he gonna say anything but this track is top one? I wonder if he's gonna- I wonder. I wonder. <laughs> I wonder if he's gonna- I'm- bruv. I'm- I'm here. So, so like I'm on your team, okay? I'm on your team. Slander it, please. It'd be funny. It'd be so funny. Rainbow Rose say it sucks. Say it, motherfucker. They did a great do it, job. please. It'd be I want funny. to start off by saying that it's nice to have a vibrant <laughs> Rainbow Road that isn't just blue. In my Wave 3 review, I commented on how blue the road was in 7's Rainbow Road for the booster pass, and got some pushback from people insisting that no, it's not blue. Is- is- is blood colorblind? No, I'm being serious. Is he? Is he okay? Is he- He's pulling on a chain again. He's doing the Mars Root thing again, isn't he? Is he- is he okay? <laughs> so look, are you- <laughs> Brother, you've got blue in your- in your fucking picture. Like, you know what blue looks like. That's- that's not- Are you- are you okay? <laughs> it's a rainbow but now that we have another booster pass rainbow road for a direct side-by-side -side comparison no that shit is totally blue i'm putting my foot down on this one it's like they took a rainbowy road and then slapped a 30 percent blue opacity
like I mean, I guess I guess when you kind of look further ahead, but the the road, okay. When you're looking at the road ahead, I suppose it's blue, but the road you're driving on is very blue coated. I'm guessing how it works is that the transparency, like the, the road is slightly transparent, so it's got the blue like space background behind it. But when you're actually driving, like you, you showed, what's it? Look, look, you see when you're actually driving on it, when it's closer up to you, it looks like a rainbow. I guess when you look further ahead, it's not a rainbow, but when I'm driving on it, it's a rainbow. And all that matters is that when I drive on it, it's a rainbow, you know? Look, like when I when I'm driving on it, I can very clearly see a rainbow here. Look, there's all the different colors of the rainbow. But I guess if you look ahead, it's just all kind of green here, I suppose. So I suppose they're kind of half right, but what a weird thing to complain about. <laughs> but, but I suppose you're not entirely wrong. Insisting okay. that Turbo Road for a direct side-by-side -side comparison. Is, I'm just I'm just like, is this the hill you want to die on, Mr. Silog? I mean, you're you're comparing two of the best tracks in Mario Kart history, like is this is this is this really what you you don't have to bring this track down to raise this track up i think your angle of critique is fundamentally flawed if i'm being honest with you because i do think we is better than seven but that's because i think uh we fuses both of the concepts i wanted a rainbow and i want it to look spectacular i want it to feel spectacular i want it to be difficult to race on i think this one doesn't nail on the difficulty front but nails the other two perfectly no, that shit is totally blue. I'm putting my foot down on this one. It's Blood is not even complaining. Um, should we listen to it again and you can tell me if he's complaining, Amari? It's not blue, it's a rainbow. But I think uh, you, when you do the voice, I've done the voice before, you know when you do the... That's when, that's when you're... If that's not... If that's not... That's called straw manning, if you want the technical term. He's straw manning. Do you want me to use the technical term? He, he's straw manning the criti uh, critique, which I think is a bit... Okay. But now that we have another booster pass rainbow road for a direct side-by-side -side comparison. No, that shit is totally blue. I'm I think he's definitely doing a bit of command. Put my foot down on this one. It's like they took a rainbowy road and then slapped a 30% blue opacity filter over it. It looks like shit. But here, they- uh, I don't- I don't agree, but... Okay. They really knocked out of the park. So vibrant, so pretty. Basically, this is what you expect. Yeah, see, that's the voice I do when it's- when it's the car- Yeah, when I'm- when I'm deliberately slandering, that's the voice I do. And, yeah, so I know the voice, trust me. I know the voice. I do it sometimes, too. It's funny, but I think it's only funny when the criticism is, like, somewhat valid. I don't know. I guess it's blue. I guess you're not wrong, but... I don't know. I, I don't know, to be honest. I, if I'm going to... I find it... Like, generally, when I'm... I think this is one general rule I use. When I'm going against the grain, so to speak, I try not to... I, I try to, like, understand... Like, for example, you'll see it when I... Um, with my trolling voice, true. You'll see it when I uh, said that DK Mountain was a bad uh, track in Wave 6, right? I know that's going to be a take that not a lot of people are going to agree with. So as a result, I made sure I coached my take with a lot of, like, reasonings. I talked about the cannon, I talked about the rocky road, I talked about the rocks, and then I talked about the bridge. I, like, broke it down so that you could understand why I've come to this conclusion. And I think when you're doing that with for a track that's so iconic, I think you have to break it down a bit more fairly instead of doing the straw man voice. <laughs> the straw man voice is fun. I I love doing the straw man voice. I did it for straw. I do it for the Moonview hate oh, highway haters all the time. But the only reason I do that for the Moonview highway haters is because I clarified very clearly in that video what I didn't like about it. You might disagree what I don't like about it, but I clarified it very clearly so you can go watch that. But I don't know to be honest. If you're gonna if you're gonna use, if you're gonna use straw man voice, I think Seven's Rainbow Road is probably not the best to do. You know, I, that that'd be my way of approaching it. Generally, like I said, generally when I'm going against the grain, I try to coach my opinions a lot more fairly and a lot less straw man voicey so that anyone who actually is listening and isn't just going to leave a blind comment actually understands why i don't like the track you know because when you do that you're not you're not trying to convince the people that hate you when you do that you're trying to convince the neutral people who are seeing the people who say they hate you do you know what i mean for example right if someone said if someone said to you right now i think so musty he said ever since he said he hates dk man i fucking hate him you would watch my video and be like oh, okay let's see what it is and then you see that I broke it down and be like I mean, I don't agree, but I don't think it was fair, right? But if someone said, I fucking hate Salakor, he said Seven Rainbow Road was so shit. I'm like, did he? And then I watched this video, I'd be like, that was an odd complaint. Do you see what I mean? I'd find myself siding more with them than I would with you. Do you know what I mean? The whole point is you're trying to convince the person in the middle that your take is a good take, so to speak. Might not be the correct one. It might be the one people like, but it's a good one. So when some if someone was to say to me, if someone if someone said to you, I hate so much because he came out in he, he ran he came out in low, you could watch the video and see that I at least broke it down clearly. So even if you don't agree, you saw what I did. Do you see what I mean? That that's kind of how I choose to approach it, because I think it it just makes things a lot more interesting. I don't know. Well, I don't know, I just have a prefer to go back. I don't know. Um, 
I expect to give me uh, reasons and then say this is bad and not elaborate. I think it's I think saying doing that this is bad and not elaborating can be good, but when when you know it's a track that's fan favorite, you kind of have to make sure you at least clarify a bit more because because then you can't you can't get angry then when people just say fuck you if you just said it was bad. I don't think I don't think that's fair. I don't think that's fair if you get angry about that. Um, I watched the video before and it felt like a strange because it does feel strange. It definitely did feel strange to me. I'm already not joking. He's extremely serious. He dislikes all the not the non tile road. I guess. Again, very odd, very odd, very odd critique. If I do say so, where are the girls? Shut up. Um, where's the rainbow? Where's the rainbow? Yeah, you should have just. Where's the rainbow? It's the rainbow for you. That's how you say. You should have just did the so musty thing. You should just did that. You should have said it. You should have quoted me directly. Then he would have saved. Then he would have saved. To see them playing a track right, called Rainbow Road, I really dig that glitter effect they have on the track as well. Again, this is a really pretty remake. In fact, this is yeah, easily. You could have said that without shitting on seven, but. That's fine, that's why we've moved past it, we've moved past it, okay. The most vibrant Rainbow Road out of all five in Mario Kart 8. Yeah, Mario Kart 8 has five Rainbow Roads. Isn't that nuts? It does, doesn't it? Mechanically, the only- Which Rainbow Road is getting left out in your uh, cup, guys? If you, were to make, if you were to do a Rainbow Cup based on the cups, which one's leaving? I think for me, uh, I don't know, eight's one, I think it's probably gonna- it's probably going to sit on the side, if I'm being honest. Was they added those anti-grab pegs that make you spin on those two turns before the launcher. Other than that, this is basically one to one. I wish they would have done a bit more. Hang on, hang on. This is interesting. I'm seeing some. I'm seeing some hot takes flying here. Hang on. Uh, it's, it's, SNES is fair. 3DS though. Ooh, that's a that's a, ooh. I don't know. We yeah, Dan. You're just yeah. I know. I know what you're like, Dan. You're just you're just being different. You're being different. I, I had to delete your comment on my video because like, you're just being different, Dan. You're being different. I know what you like. I know what you like, Dan. I grab specifically, but all in all, this is a pretty good note to end the DLC on. Not much else to say other than good job. 64? Well, not only is that all of Wave 6, but we've now taken a look at all 48 tracks in the Booster Course Pass. So I guess I should make some closing statements on the DLC as a whole. The Booster Course Pass has been quite the ride. Start to finish, it has varied in quality. 64? Completely. Although even at- I, I got heat trying in my track saying 64 is the worst. Coming from like the most mid legendary to ever exist. <laughs> If it, if it was like Reshiram in my chat saying that, I'd be like, you know what, fair. Heatran though? Who's ever booted up a, a, a playthrough of Pokemon Platinum and be like, oh, I'm so excited to catch Heatran. <laughs> Motherfucker, I'm there for Giratina, bro. I'm there for the Pixies, bro. Maybe even Roger Gigas, bro. I ain't never Heatran. Brother, man, well, once I'm done saying goodbye to Luca, I don't even go back into Stark Man and go fuck yourself, it's, e it's always been fun, but the yeah. DLC being fun has way <laughs> less to do with the lack of effort being put in, and way more to do with the fact that Mario Kart 8 is still as fun as it ever was. And these fan favorite tracks are likewise still as fun as ever, here in the Booster Pass. Most of these came down to solid choices to bring back. It's not like Base 8, for instance, where a lot of once mediocre tracks were made good by making some drastic changes. The tracks that differ the most here are the ones from GBA and SNES. And again, those changes should be credited to Tour, not this DLC. Yes. <laughs> That's fine. I suppose you're right. <laughs> I know there's some that had an aneurysm basically anytime I talked about graphics, but that is where the majority of the team's effort went towards. Otherwise, all the biggest changes, again, should be credited to Tour, not the Booster Pass. Does that make them bad? Of course not. They're a blast to play, but really that should be a given. You'd have to really go out of your way to make Mario Kart 8 not fun to play, even if you play a couple- okay, I can, I'm gonna be honest, right? I think even just the way you phrase that just seems really... So, okay. <laughs> I feel like I'm giving advice to someone who really doesn't fucking need it or ask for it. But generally, when I'm when I'm talking about something, I just kind of like... You, you do the, what's it, the compliment sandwich technique? Is something I, I try to do? You say something nice, criticism, then something nice. Because people usually remember how it starts and how it ends. You know, generally that's what people remember. So if I was to rephrase what he said, I'd be like, I think, uh, I think the BCP did a very good job of including a lot of fan favorite tracks. Understandably, a lot of them are from Tor, so a lot of the design changes should be credited to them. But I still do think having them in a modern package is actually very, very good. Do you see how I've just made the same point, but I don't sound really, really negative for no reason? Did you see? I may essentially said the same thing he said, but I phrased it so it sounds a lot nicer. <laughs> So, I don't know, maybe maybe try and do that? I don't know, man. <laughs> not the booster pass. Does that make them bad? Of course not. They're a blast to play, but really that should be a given. You'd have to really go out of your way to make Mario Kart 8 not fun You put it away, but yeah, it's just, like, that's the compliment sandwich, you know? Compliment sandwich, that's how you do it, you know? Even if you play a custom track- Oh my god, Mayro mentioned! Mayro mentioned, let's go! Mayro, <laughs> Mayro misgendered? You know what, I'm on Team Reddit again. I'm on Team Reddit again. F uh, fuck Silo Cork. 
Oh, I can't believe this. I can't believe it. Ne that could never be so mistake. That could like, never be so mistake. New to the modding scene. That's it, okay. In all fairness, it was probably just a genuine mistake. So <laughs> it's probably just a genuine mistake. As he left the, he hasn't even. Like, I would have left a pinned comment personally, but. Uh, okay. I think the biggest Yikes. difference between how I've been viewing these tracks and how, say, your common redditor has been viewing these tracks is that a lot of the Mario Kart community. It was, it was has definitely been a mistake, but I would have probably left a pinned comment saying, oh, "Mayro goes by she them." <laughs> cast from the standpoint of, is it fun? I don't think there's any debating that it is isn't fun, but since it is, to seemingly many, that means they did a great job. But for me, I would be more surprised if it wasn't fun. Due to that, I've instead been viewing it from the perspective of how much effort did they put in. And with the exception of that great soundtrack and a small few of the tracks, I think the answer is not a whole lot. The part I'm having the most fun with, or rather- I mean, <laughs> to be fair though, I might leave a comment actually. Uh, I think, yeah, I think it's a genuine mistake. So don't don't rake him over the coals too much. <laughs> but I think I think it was a genuine mistake. I don't think he meant to meant to misgender. Um, but even then, uh, hang on. I want to hear the point. I already forgot what I was going to say. Hang on, let me hear the point again. <laughs> and with the exception of that great soundtrack and a small few of the tracks, I think the answer is not a whole lot. Uh, to be honest, though, I think. <laughs> I think it was relatively obvious. I'd actually love to know what you guys think. To me, I think it was relatively obvious what the BCP was right from the outset. In that, consider especially because of the price point. We were told we were going to get 48 tracks for, what was it, like 20 quid? Like $25? Do you know what I mean? There was no way they were ever... Like, me hearing them, like, there's no way they would ever put as much quality into the base game as they did. I would have been shockingly surprised, but I think relatively early on, maybe maybe some people... I can understand if some of you guys were genuinely shocked at the downgrade of quality, but I think after Wave 1, I think it should have been extremely clear to anyone, uh, like, buy, caveat emptor, buyer beware. I think it should have been extremely clear to anyone that... This is just, we're literally just giving you more tracks, and that's kind of it, you know? That's kind of what we're doing. And for that, so as a result, I, he's not wrong when he says, like, yeah, they didn't really change much, but I, I don't think most people, at least most aware consumers, um, would have thought that, you know? I don't know. Part I'm having the most fun with, or rather, the thing that makes these tracks so fun, is the great foundation of the track established in whichever Mario Kart it was first introduced, and then the engine of 8 itself, which was done nine and a half years ago on the Wii U. All of these are the same layouts as what we saw in Tour. Again, again, just, that's just a... God, let me hear that back one more time. <laughs> the track established in whichever Mario Kart it was first introduced, and then the engine of 8 itself, which was done nine and a half years ago on the Wii U. Okay. <laughs> Do you, want, do, you want to, do you want to do the compliment sandwich thing? <laughs> so again, he has such a weird way of phrasing it, which makes it sound oddly negative. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. Listen, man, I don't know if you write your scripts or something. I don't know, man. Maybe try the compliment sandwich technique. If I was going to really phrase this, again, I would say, yeah, sure, a lot of these tracks haven't changed the, uh, a lot of their instances. And if we're being honest, a lot of these tracks are just straight ports from tour. The engine that Mario Kart has established for so long has been consistently so good for as long as it has, really makes these tracks shine for the most part. Again, it's not that hard. I can do it on the fly. <laughs> I don't know. All of these are the same layouts as what we saw in Tour. And because Tour doesn't have anti-grav, not a single course of the entire 48-track DLC has you driving on walls or ceilings. That was the entire gimmick of Mario Kart 8, literally on the front of both the Wii U and the Switch box art. You got people driving upside- I, I don't necessarily disagree with this take. I just- I just don't care. Do you get what I mean? I, I really just- I really just don't care, if I'm being honest. <laughs> Uh, I just, uh, I just don't care. Is my audio kind? Is my audio dying? Hang on, hold up. Hold up. One second, gamers, one second, one second. Um, are we, are we sure now? Hello, hello guys, can you hear me? Are we sure? No? Uh, chill? Are we chill? Are we chill? Are we good now? We're starting a little. Probably my connection had a bit of a moment. Are we good now? Uh, audio kind of... Are we good? No? Is, is, is it breaking up again? Hello? Hello, guys? Are we chilling? It's still kind of... Still kind. I don't know. Um, what about, what about now? What about now? It's fine for me? Hang on. Can I hear it? Can I hear myself back? Okay, give me a sec. Give me a sec. It sounds like a Zoom call. Good on my end. 
Oh, it's, hang on. Let me let me let me bring myself up on stream. Where's my own stream? Hang on. Hello, hello, Sir Musty. So hang on. Let me let me let me bring myself up on stream. Hello, Sir Musty. I think that sounds fine, right? I'm so chill. I'm chill. It's a spongy bottle. Spongy. You like spongy? You lied to me. Anyway, as I said, as I, as I was going, still good. I think for the most part we're good. I think okay. Uh, most of you guys are saying we're good, so we'll. Uh, I know it's nothing. Okay, most of you guys are saying we're good, so it's probably Sponge. It's probably Sponge being weird. Um, normally Sponge is good with these things, but Sponge trolled me. He trolled me this time. Anyway, as I was saying, the anti- I think this is a very valid point. Very, very, very valid point. But I just don't care. <laughs> I just really, really don't care. I think the anti-grav was- is cool for like set Peach. Like, look at like Peach's castle being upside down. It looks really, really cool, doesn't it? It looks really, really cool. But that's it. It just kind of looks really, really cool. <laughs> and, and that's it, if I'm being honest. It can make some set pieces look all right, but that's really just kind of it. It's kind of it, if I'm being honest. So, yeah, fair. That's, that's, that's yeah. it. I personally heavy disagree. Hang on, let's see. I personally heavy disagree with the anti grab point. Uh, in general, Mario Kart doesn't make full interesting use of this mechanic, especially in the base retros. Yeah, there isn't really any bits I can think of where, like, it isn't just, oh shit, like, I'm technically upside down, so something's upside down. Other than that, is there, are there any really cool bits of anti-grav? Like, in terms of, like, visually, like, it doesn't, um, in terms of mechanically, one thing I like that they do, um, is that, for example, in tracks like, like Toad Turnpike and Toad Harbor, two Toad tracks, I'm using an example, they have those bits off to the side that you can use for a slower, safer path. I really do like that. I think that's a cool option to give to the player, but... Other than that, I can't really think of any... Off the top of my head, I can't think of any instance of anti-grav where I'm like, ooh, anti-grav, you know? That's, that's it, really, if I'm being honest. Big Blue... Yeah, I guess Big Blue, though. They're also the music... Uh, the F-Zero tracks use it quite well. F Dolphin Shoals, you drive it. Yeah, Dolphin Shoals. Like, yeah, Dolphin Shoals is another good example. There's a couple of good examples. There's a couple of good examples, I would say. But overall... Mm -hmm. Instead, we'd get tracks like Sky High Sunday, and the anti-gravity would just haphazardly be on the whole time despite never having any walls or ceilings to drive around. <laughs> yeah. Again, that does not mean it's not fun, because these totally have been, albeit these are the reasons I've been so critical. It's not the team's A game, although not being their A game does not mean it's not worth $25. Because even though these might not be on the same standard as base 8, 48 tracks for five bucks and they decided to throw in some new characters on top of that that's just yeah, a good, good value yeah. it greatly expands the mario kart 8 experience. if you play at a party or with a more casual group of gamers all that's going to matter is that people are having fun playing mario kart a virtue of just being released on the wii u which not a lot of people had not too many people got to try mario kart 8 which was a shame because this is my absolute favorite entry but between being ported to the switch and now with this massive booster core Oh, was Spongy not lying to us after? Oh no, is it is over? Is it silent? Is it just this? Is it the video? Mm, that's very odd. Maybe, maybe it's because I got it too high? So my audio is fine, it's just his, right? No, because I'm hearing the video just fine, so maybe, yeah, maybe reset the video. Sponge was right, he was right, Sponge was right all along! Sponge vindicated! Um, let's see if that works. It seems to be the video. Is it good? It has given so many people not only the opportunity, but a reason to play this entry. So, having a great time with one of those fun. And if nothing He's been else, avenged. the booster course pass does credit for- Still doing it, bruv. Are we just- are we just cooked? Are we- are we cooked? Oh, Musty, what are you doing, lad? Are we just Hang on. Musty, what are you doing? I think I think I hear, I hear the stuttering a little now. <laughs> uh, is it my is my internet just having a having a bad day? Oh guys, we might be cooked. We might be cooked. Well, the video is nearly done, so we'll just wrap it up here, I suppose. So despite everything, I would say yeah, the booster course path is worth. It. It's been fun playing more Mario Karts, and it's been fun doing these videos. It's just fun to discuss Mario Kart. What we like, what we didn't like, what didn't work, what success. Exciting to see the team knock one out of the park, and even when they didn't, it was still fun to play and discuss. Given each and every wave has been some of my most requested Might be. videos ever, I think many of you would likewise agree with that sentiment. So until Mario Kart 9, we have a hell of a lot of content on our hands. Until Nintendo announces the next game, we have the ultimate Mario Kart experience to keep us busy. Whether you agreed or disagreed, thanks oh, man, to everyone for following the ending, huh? journey. Until the next time we meet, I hope you all have a great time with all 48 tracks. Keep racing on. I hope you do too. I hope you do too, honestly.
I hope you two say hey, luck. Thanks for watching. I'd like to give a special. It was good. I think it was my noise gate. Uh, thanks, Miro, for that. <laughs> I turned it off and it's fine. Patrons such as Evan. Um. Anyway. Uh. Oh, sorry, it's fading. Yeah, it's probably noise gate then. I'll turn it off. Okay. Okay. It should be should be okay now. <laughs> it was fine for the whole streams. I don't know why it started acting up now. But odd. Either way. Um. What do, what do you guys what do you guys think of the video? I think like I said, I, I don't think his angle of approaching it is necessarily wrong. I just think he should probably like use the compliment sandwich technique. <laughs> I think he should um I think he should do that, honestly. Because I think that would make uh his takes a bit more palatable to the average audience. Uh because even though like I can see the points he's getting at, um a lot of people might just hear bad things and just like well, because here's the thing, right? Especially when when you're dealing with a situation where you're like saying things that other people don't agree with, you kind of have to be a bit like a bit more careful with that sort of thing. He's a bit too blunt with what he says. I don't know if necessarily being blunt is a bad thing, but I think if you are going to be blunt, you need to like compliment sandwich it, you know? Same thing I said earlier. He's bringing up graphics very. Often. I mean, to be fair, he warned us ahead of time, so I think that's uh, I think that's fair. I think his graphics thing is fair because he told us ahead of time. Hey, I'm going to mention the graphics, motherfucker. All right, deal with it. That's fair. I think if he, he didn't his way five video from what I heard, so that was a bit weird. Although uh, football was a bit weird, definitely. Uh, I'm actually gonna have to side lightly with the Reddits. I definitely okay. Even though they are extremely cringe, <laughs> they had a bit of a point. And I think if he just like tweaked up how he like he wrote his videos, I think it could be perfect. I think it genuinely could be perfect, honestly. Um, he dwells on points he doesn't need to be dwelled on. Yeah, I think that's just true. I think he should definitely. Don't give the Reddit as the time of day, you know? Use the criticism sandwich, critique, compliment, crit yes, I think that's what it is. He's not using compliment sandwich, he's using critiques, that's what it is. Hey, is that Albert Boris? Hey, Albert Boris, how you doing? Madrid Drive is actually so good at one of his in real life. If only it was a real place, huh? If only it was a real place. It's a shame it's not, right? It's a shame it's not. Uh, the reason he keeps bringing up graphics is because the haters kept saying negative things about his videos. Yeah, but like, are you going to let the haters dictate what you say about your videos? I don't think that's a... I don't think that's a, the right way to approach it, if I'm being honest. Like, if if every single time I got, like, a noteworthy mm, uh, bit of criticism, um, I would, I, I'd, I'd go crazy. I'd genuinely go crazy. Like, let, let, let me think about it, because I, I do remember them. I just don't really acknowledge them, because what's the point, right? If I spent a whole stream going, um, uh, guys, could you remember in my Double Dash video, so many people were whinging at me for my Daisy uh, Cruiser circuit. <laughs> Daisy Cruiser thing. Well, it's crazy. Oh my God. And then people were writing about my D DK Pass about, uh, I forgot the album. What's the deal with that, right? And then, and then people were ragging on me for my Rainbow Road. And as it's like, it just gets bored. Like, you don't, like, it's fun to laugh at the, the Redditors every now and again, I suppose. But it just, if you spend the whole time, if you're dictating your entire, like, mood and vibe and the whole thing based on the people that don't like you, I just think that's just not a conducive strategy to go about. If you ask me, he can do what he wants. He's got, he's got 200k, and I don't. So obviously, he's doing something right. Uh, so I don't know. If you ask me, I, I would just go crazy. I would. Just, I, I don't make enough money from this, or have the mental fortitude, I guess, to, to be able to deal with that level. I just, if people want to make a Reddit thread about me, I'd be like, hey, you're not doxing me, are you? You're not sending a cruise missile to my house, are you? No. Stay wherever the fuck you want, okay? <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, stay wherever you want. Um, Let's keep the music on. I'm really struggling with my ranking video. It's hard to write non, uh, in a non-defensive tone when your takes are wacky. It is, it is hard. Like, it's probably harder than I give him credit for. Maybe it's just that it comes to me a bit easier because I've worked in like a customer service facing role for so long. So I can't, that's how I know about the compliment sandwich technique, you know? Um, when I'm doing like security work, it's not uncommon. Like if someone's if someone's drunk, they have to go, by the way. They just, they just have to go. Because they'll start bumping into stuff, they'll start bumping into people, they'll start spill someone's drink, and they'll start a fight, right? So, uh, uh, so you know, like, more often than not, you don't just go, mate, you're gone. Like, you can't do it. You compliment sandwich. You go, hey, listen, mate, mate. You had a good night, right? You had a good night? Yeah. Listen, you gotta go there, man. You're a little drunk, you're a little too drunk. So I'm not just like, brother, come on. I can smell it from right here, man. Come on. You've had fun. Come back tomorrow. You'll be chill. You're chill, man. You're chill. Let's go to the door, man. Let's go to the And if they don't go, then, then you call for backup. <laughs> But that's how it goes, you know? You, 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 you build some rapport, you tell them the deal, yeah, yeah, yeah. walk with them as they go and keep complimenting them, and then you just get, let them go. Because Lord knows that's far easier than starting a bar fight, right? <laughs> so I've been doing that for years, so I guess it comes to me a bit more naturally, but... It, 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 I imagine it's a bit more difficult than it seems, but keep trying, I'm sure you'll get there. I'm sure you'll get there. Uh... I understand why it does seem kind of negative. I understand. So obviously, again, it's just if he did the compliments, the sandwich strat, I think it'd be a bit better. I think it'd be better if you ask me. Uh, let's catch up. Oh, this is the credits for the BCP. I'll do it some other time. I've actually had my disagreements, but I can see where it's coming from. Yeah, same here. I, I disagree too. 
Uh, I'm pretty sure the reason for the constant graphic analysis is because that inconsistency the BC pass was, although someone nitpicky. Like I said, I, I think it's fine if you come at it from that angle. I just think most people, I think it's fair to say, let me ask you, let me ask you, if you're watching a BCP video, you're not really expecting the predominant take to be about graphics. Maybe you'll mention it. Like I mentioned it in a uh, PP Cove, right? I just thought the nighttime aesthetic just really didn't blend well with the track. I mentioned it, but speaking of part of it, hey, here's the music. But I just think it wasn't really something I was particularly think, um, fussed on talking about. Oh, Albert, you're doing a 96 track ranking as well? Hell yeah. Yeah, I think he just dedicates a bit too much to the haters, I would say. Uh, Streaming realized he has weird negative and hearts at certain points. Yeah, yeah I, I think... Um, I, don't like it, it, <laughs> I'm talking from a position of like relative privilege because like I've only got 4,000 subs. And one thing about being a nobody on YouTube is that no one in the grand scheme really cares. I can say what I want. Yeah, you know, there'll be one or two videos like complain of people complaining, but no one's gonna make a Reddit thread about me. You know what I mean? No one's making a Reddit thread. <laughs> but imagine once you get like bigger, then you have to have to contend with these weirdos. But I just wouldn't acknowledge them. You know, I just wouldn't acknowledge them. There's just no point really. Or if you are gonna, maybe not at the beginning of a Wave 6 ranking, you know? Like, that, that seems like the kind of thing I would do on, like, a, a second channel. I'd make a video saying, like, laughing at all the haters, and then we'd go through Reddit friends and read and laugh at them. I could see myself doing that, definitely. But, like, not in the middle of my, not at the start of my ranking video, going, hey guys, the haters, or something like that. that just, it kind of bogs down the video, you know? Yeah, make a thread. If you want to make a thread right now, if you want to go on R slash Mario, I'm like, this is so musty guy. What a I want to, if you can, I'm just saying, if you can, go for it, man. Oh, I'll keep your channel small. Really? You think so? You don't want me to grow? Do you know what's going to happen? Is, 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 James, I know what you're thinking, James. I know what you're thinking, James. It's a bit like when I w started watching Scott the Was back when he had like 5,000 subscribers, right? I was like, oh my god, this guy's so underrated. He's so cool. I love Scott the Was, but now Scott the Was is like the big time YouTuber, man. Scott is so overrated. He's so overrated. I can't believe this. That's you. <laughs> That's James right now. He's like, he's like, oh, I've got this underground YouTuber I really like. And then the moment I get big, he's like, he's, over he's, so, he's overrated. So bad now. Um, for me, uh, the graphics need to be offensively bad to be mentioned. Yeah, that's what I would say. Or like a missed opportunity, like with my PP Cove. Anyway, that was fun, wasn't it, guys? That was fun. We had we had two tier lists, or two videos, should we say? Um, there is a section in my Discord if you want, got a video that you want me to react to in particular. Um, you can you can post it there, and I'll see if I can get around to it. See if it work if it works out. Nice shirt, thank you, Mario shirt. Uh, we're gonna, we're gonna, I'm gonna do a stream over on Twitch now. We're gonna play some games over on Twitch. So if you wanna join us there, be sure to follow me on Twitch. Uh, but we'll, I'll see you guys as usual next Wednesday for more, you know, gaming shenanigans. But yeah, I'm gonna be over there now. But yeah, have a good day, guys. I hope you enjoyed. The, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed it. We were there. I don't give a shit about graphics for the most part. If the game is fun, yeah, generally, generally, oh. it's worth talking about, but generally. Amugos. <laughs>